All right, I think we are live. All right, good. Uh, now. Good. Uh, what's going on, guys? Another Twitch Tuesday. Uh, I'm your host, Bren, of Another Castle, and this is my brother, Spencer. Yep. And today we are going to play Game Dev Tycoon, a game that is insanely popular on Steam, I think. I think it's pretty good. Um, now, but before we go into the game, you notice that there's a website link in the bottom right corner. Uh, and this is that's the website for Another Castle. And during the stream, you can check that website out for uh, all things nerd. There are comic book, anime, uh, uh, movies, and video game news and reviews. And there are top, also top ten lists, uh, some editorials, uh, Music Mondays, uh, absurd cosplays, and I think awesome cosplays as well uh, of the week. Uh, so while you're watching the stream, uh, feel free to check out that website. The uh, link is right there in the bottom right corner. Uh, and don't forget to follow Another Castle on Facebook and Twitter. And YouTube as well. And on Twitch as we hear as well, if you want to. Yes, so that way um, you can never miss... A so Twitch that way you can Tuesday. never miss anything that gets put on the website. Yep. So, and, and we are a pretty small website, but we are... We're getting, we're getting, we're, we're expanding, so to speak, which is, um, it's always fantastic. So, without further ado, uh, now that the introductions are out of the way, let's go into Game Dev Tycoon. Game Dev Tycoon is, uh, it's a tycoon game, but it's not made by the guys who made Roller Coaster Tycoon. It is made by, uh, Greenheart Games, uh, and they're an indie group, um, and this is, I think, one of their first games, uh, and it is... Essentially, a simulation game, or a sim game, if you like to call it for short, uh, where you make games and sell them on uh, to the market. And uh, you can also get unlockable stuff. So you get like, uh, you know, audience rating. You can also get, uh, you know, what 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 genre you want to put it in. What kind of like, do you want to make it a first-person shooter game? Do you want to make it an RPG? Do you want to make it a sci-fi game? Do you want to make it a fantasy game? You know, all all this cool stuff into into um, this game. And also, a lot of people might be thinking, well, isn't it similar to Game Dev Story, the game that's on the phone mm -hmm. for like Android and iPhone and stuff like that? There was some confusion, but I think Game Dev Tycoon is very different in terms of mechanics and just overall presentation. Because Game Dev Story, you, your guys move around, they interact with each other, they like approach the boss, you can edit your guys' looks and stuff like that. In, in this game, Game Dev Tycoon, you can only make your guy, your manager, and you can hire other people, but they're automatically given names. And you can't see your dude's face, ever. Um, and you can also make it a woman or a dude if you want to. So what we're going to do today is that you see there's this tutorial. I have played this game before. I have played a total of 23 hours of this game. Uh, that's how addicting it is. So have I. I've um, been playing this game for quite a while. It says, time. hello there. It seems you have already played before. You can get right into development and skip the tutorial message. Note that you can always uh, you can always review tutorial messages, even the ones you've skipped, in the help menu while you play a game. We're going to skip tutorials so we can just go straight into it without the text being kind of cumbersome. And this game also follows the history of like the Nintendo, the Atari, the uh, Apple computers and all that stuff, mm -hmm. um, all right up to the Xbox One and further as a yep. crazy, this is what's after the Xbox One and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. All right, let's skip tutorial. We're gonna give that tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time when you start your very own game development. I'm a company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream in a dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Um, and obviously, since we're another castle, we're going to call it another castle. Another castle. Oh, stop it. Another castle. Castler. <laughs> Castlers are people All right, who so, go So to for a player, uh, I was thinking of, of putting myself in it, mm -hmm. but I kind of want to put Jen in it. Because she's... Make a, it female? She's, she's, yeah, you can make it female. Okay, put uh, Jen in it. Yeah. So, uh, Jennifer... Not Jennifer from Clock Tower. No, not which Clock is another Tower. game okay, we should yeah, stream. Yeah, um, okay. So for the Halloween days. Oh, you know, I, I think Jen, brown hair. Seems does awesome. Jen have short hair? I think she does. I have no idea. Check check the chat. Oh, is she on the chat? I have, no, <laughs> I don't know. Check the uh, little uh, buttons right there. Buttons uh, right there. Button. Buttons? Is a you're view knocking, list. Oh, I'm sorry. I accentally knocked the. Uh, uh, it's not available. Ch please try again later. Well, we tried. Did, did okay. chat crash? So, 
we're gonna have it like that. Okay, so a shirt that she would wear would be, uh, let's say, just a, a white t-shirt because it's uh, simple. Simple. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's continue. Um, since you have played the game before, you can choose all previously gained hints in this new there game. You see if I Would you like to import one. all previously gained hints into this game? Yes. Oh, did you edit the time length too? Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. Oh, well. Ah, it's a little minutes. bit more faster. We don't want it to take I'm forever. I'm going to do mine as well, and I'm going to call my company. Uh, let me think here. Uh, I'm going to call it... Uh, okay. So, now... We're, we're in, a, we're in a, a garage with the DeLorean uh, and, a, and a tire that's kind of sort of draped on there. Okay, so what you do in the game is that you, um, you, you, you know, we get a short limit of what you can do right now currently. Um, so you get to pick a topic, and it's always randomized when you start, but you can unlock them with um, uh, yeah. research points, mm -hmm. which is RP for short. Okay, so the topic we pick is UFO, Ninja, Mystery, and School. What do you want to pick? Uh, well, ninja sounds great, so pick ninja. Yeah, ninja, uh, genre, action game. Action, straight up, um, shinobi. Platform, uh, PC, because they're really good for it. And you notice that the And hints... change the title of the game all the time. Yeah. That's one thing. Yeah, that's that one thing. Make sure you always change the title, because people always seem to forget to, mm -hmm. and it always comes up as PC uh, game number 26 or something like that. And everyone's yeah. always like, it's been best selling, but I didn't give it a name, you know? Yeah, I know. All right, so we're going to pick, we're gonna, we're gonna pick PC, because it's good for action games, because the hints tell you in forms of uh, plus signs and stuff okay. like that, or minus signs tell you that yeah. doesn't work. Okay. Okay, so we're going to call this one uh, Shinobi. Oh, Shinobi, um, Shinobi, uh, and you can get um, graphics. So what we're gonna do is we have two D graphics because okay. I don't remember ever having a Shinobi game. That so was it's text probably gonna look like more right, like so. Oregon Trail or, or not Oregon Trail, but Oregon, or Oregon Trail. Trail. Oregon Trail, right. and it's um, and uh, well generating game reports, which is a thing they recently added in. Um, oh, really? I remember when the game first came out. Oh yeah. They didn't have game. Yeah, reports. you can do research as to what went yeah. wrong. Yeah. Know? Now, now you can, which is pretty good. And while generating bringing up that idea of um, how. You know, it's like, oh, it's new. Yeah. A lot of people would argue saying, well, Game Dev Story did that too. But yeah. it was more automatic, or, or you had to do it right away, which is what I did all, right. all the time. To so, succeed. anyway, so. let's, uh, it says, while generating game reports, you can start to gain insights into the development process and learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. These insights are shown at hints on the development screen, unless you have this turned off in the settings. Which I don't think the hints should. range from triple plus to double uh, double negative, uh, and indicate how important an area is for this type of game. Oh, when hints have yeah. a question mark at the end, example triple plus, it means that you have insights from a game in the same genre, but that you are not yet sure whether this holds true for this particular topic or genre combination. Yeah. Okay. All right. So engine. Um, it does. I, I, um, from my experience, is it's being, always been like it's always been like gameplay first, engine kind of story and quest not so much. Yeah, it's always like engine. Hey, gameplay was the most important, so let's do yeah. that. Uh, and you notice this man, little, and you notice little woman, ball things. Sorry. You get, uh, you get design, technology, research, and bugs. Bugs are for what makes the game work. Yes. Um. Well, up. Dialogue, there dialogue be down. Dialogue that much. Um, so. Okay, and yeah, so for design, this means how good, good the game looks. Mm -hmm. uh, for technology, is how advanced the game is in terms of uh, uh, sound and like AI and everything like that. Um, so graphics, sound. Oh, it's kind of cut off a little bit right there. You, you guys can't really notice it, but for us, it's a little cut off a little. Oh, can we? Yeah. Oh, we can't extend it. Oh, what the? Whoa. Okay. There you go. I it's guess a, that works. It says for a cost, so... Okay, so... Yeah. Graphics, world design... I tried to expand the screen, that's why I was glitching out a little uh, bit. Oh, okay. Uh, but it's fine, I can so see So I'm calling it. my company Moon Hard Games. Now, you may be thinking, what's Moon Hard? Well, yeah. it's actually a clever reverse title of Sunsaw. Ah. That's... That's genius. Uh, okay, yes. so now before you release the game, you gotta make sure the bugs are all gone. Um, and while it does that, okay, so here's you what get the design title, points. Uh, here's what my so companies were called. My first one was Maestro Games. Maestro Games. Northwood. The second one was Northwood like Games. Like Westwood. Which Westwood. And Gold Record Games. And gold Records, I have no idea. I have no idea. I think that's a joke of a company. Oh, no. I don't know. I might have a dirty word in my save file. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh no! What was it called? Oh, oh no! It was the um yeah blank stain. I don't want to say what that <laughs> other word is because we're trying to keep it clean. Okay, well, 
It's not. Just don't say the game. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, stick, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show the same menu. Just keep playing the game. All right, so for as you long also as you get. Can. Re- um, also, for anybody uh, who's curious about this game, uh, you also get reviews from companies like, you know, play on words from like I think Electronic Gaming Monthly, uh, not IGN unfortunately. But okay, so the first game review for Shinobi came in. Okay, so here we go. All right, we're gonna call All right. this. Uh, Good game from Star Games. Uh, let's see. Nice experience from Informed Gamer. Uh, this one is I Like It from Game Hero. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Quirky But Good from All Games. Everyone says All Games is the and worst And Castle is not on there for reviews. What the hell? I know. I mean, we, we, got, we got to email these guys and tell them, hey, yeah. why aren't we on here? Exactly. I think we could. We could. You know, you could, patch or you could, something. You could, you could, you could, you could. I don't, I'm not being sarcastic or anything. I, I legitimately think we could probably get our name on this game. All right, level design up high. Um, okay. Make it up. Another castle. Uh, newcomer in the game industry has just released their first game, Shinobi. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, another castle are sure to gain bands quickly. Yay! Just like in real life. Yes, exactly. Because we're, we're going up slowly. Exactly. We always another castle always puts out quality articles. Quality articles lists, all the time. And all this stuff. All right. So yeah, and you like. also get uh, a number chart to see how much it is on the overall ratings of week for sales. Yes. So Shinobi sold three thousand units, and we're at number seventy-five, and it's right mm-hmm. there in the corner for rank and stuff like that. Um, but you can't see because the web our webcam's kind of blocking. Your know, webcam window's blocking yes. the cash, the year, the month, and the week. But you can kind of see the fan number, which is uh, really important. Yeah. All right, so fans. Shinobi was so successful, we now have 26 fans. All right, I made my first game, post-apocalyptic action. I call it Capital Wastelands. Bethesda won't sue you. See, you can always edit the name. Yeah, you can always yes, edit the name. Yes, we are real. Yes, we, we are for real, um, as crazy as we are. Yes. Um, you know. We're a little deranged, a little. Yes. All right, so I got my first review for Capital Wastelands. I wanted to make it a joke based off Fallout 3, because they always call it the Capital Wasteland. Yeah, they always did. Okay, they always did. So, Shinobi, we, you can always do game research now, which is fantastic. You always do game reports for this. So okay. I got a 7, 7, an 8, and an, an eight. 8. Okay, so, so that's pretty good so far. Shinobi has that's received right a company Straight sales on. record with 10,000 units sold. This is another point milestone in the history of another castle. Fantastic. Pretty good. Close game. Close that. Not you guys on game. YouTube. Uh, yes, yes, we, we are because the streams are. get put up afterwards. Yeah, the streams get put up on YouTube. Um, uh, a couple. Uh, so I that's... think the next day or the day after. Yeah, it, it always gets put up on next because I remember uh, like two days later our Left 4 Dead 2 stream got put up on there. Yes, that's a good two hours. So in case you miss what happened for our previous streams, you can always check out the other you know, ones. Depending on like the way Twitch does things, like you know if it yeah. has trouble loading. You can always watch it on YouTube without having any problems with, you know, the stream and so on yeah. and so forth. Yeah, because Twitch always seems to have issues with, in terms of the lag um, when it comes to the chat and the yeah. video stream. Yeah, a lot of that happens. And it also seems to, like, cut out at random moments. Yes, Fero 11. Woo. Woo. Like, like Ric Flair. Rick, like Ric Flair, yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right, so Expert says, uh, might spell, yeah, so it's like they bring in the, uh, the new... The reason I'm rubbing my hands so much is because... I don't know. My game was you're just you're just becoming such a, a master yes. of Again, planning you know, for games. Exactly. Right. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Yes, the game engine idea is very important for this game, and you can always name your game. And always too. do uh, research reports. Uh, try to develop uh, games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Mm-hmm. All right, so we're gonna do a new topic. We're gonna do superheroes. Because it has uh, uh, three plus okay. signs with uh, the young audience. Yeah. Which is uh, fantastic, by the way. Mm-hmm. It's off the mark. I remember the first time I played this game, uh, I went bankrupt in like within an hour. Yeah. But that was when it was really hard. This game was really tough. Uh, they they kind of made it a little bit easier, though, which is uh, fantastic. Yeah. I, I agree. I mean, like. Okay, so I think we're done. Okay, there's so a moment. A I remember. Game. There's a history behind this game. Was that anyone who torrented or pirated this game? Uh, as, a, as a way for the company to yeah. counter back lose. at pir- people who pirated the game, you would immediately yeah. lose, and the game would come up saying, "People have pirated this game," thus making thus you. making you bankrupt. Which in real life, that's never happened, as far as I know. And then extended, he meant he said, "Fear All Eleven says I meant woo." It was like a really long. It's not a request. I'm I'm butchering that woo by the way. 
It was an autocorrect. See, phones, autocorrect just leaves out the excitement. I know, autocorrect, um, I, my phone never has yeah, autocorrect for some reason. My phone doesn't have it. Uh, a lot more newer phones have it, but not the mine. The iPhones do, as far as I know. Yeah. A lot of people... The, the uh, new Galaxy that. phones have yeah. it. I remember a friend of my ours has it. My phone I the, have is like... Super old. It's like LG, like, so it's like... You know, 2011? I have no idea. Okay, I'm so we're making really a superhero game. We're going to call this uh, Superman. Straight up. There was a PC game for Commodore 64 Call called it Superman. Superman. Yeah, it was called Superman on the Commodore 64. Yeah, it's all right. So true. engine, uh, important gameplay. Let's slow that down. And another thing about this game is that they always have like pun titles. Yeah. They're similar to the console spectrum. So like, let's say the Sega Math System comes called out. Called the Sega. Uh, it's not like the Sega. It's not called Sega. It's like called Vega or something like yeah. that. Yeah. You know. Uh, according to rumors, story did the yeah. Same see, thing. here, here it is, right no. here, perfect example. Uh, according to rumors, the Japanese company N Nintendo is oh. planning to launch its very own gaming oh, console. I wonder what company that. Nintendo is. is known for the wildly successful arcade game Dinky King. Get it like Donkey Kong, except with the O, the O and the I are right next to right. it on the keyboard. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but we're eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. It's kind of funny because it did take off. You know, it's kind of sad that you don't start on the days of like the Atari days. Yeah, I know. It's, it, you just start or, off the PC Yeah, day. you just start off when pretty much when... Commodore 64 and Apple the, computers were around. Yeah, and not that. It was pretty much when you started off when after Atari's... Uh, pretty much the video game crash. crash. You pretty yeah, much start there, but there's no mention of that. Yeah. Okay, so... My name was going to be Skull Basher, but it was taken. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had a lot of names on Twitch that I wanted to do. I actually tried to take a name on Twitch that was a name of... A game from Action Fifty, uh, game from Action Fifty Two. Yeah, it was already taken. Nintendo, and that was taken, and I was like, "Oh, that was the most funny sounding one." Oh, okay. Yeah, fine. but then you called it Atmos. Quake. I called it Atmos Quake because I was like, "Screw it, that, that one sounds kind of." Cool. I'm kind of tucking yes. my hair behind my ears because I don't want to get in my face. All right, so yeah. here's the review for Superman. It's quirky but good from Star Games. Thanks, mm -hmm. thanks, Star Games. Um, superheroes in action is a great combination for uh -oh. an informed gamer. That's I great. forgot to name my game. It's just called Blank, and it's just Ninja Slash Action. It's a Ninja Action game, so it's not there. It's invisible. Let's call it that. Well, uh, okay, so I like it, and shows potential. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's do a game report of uh, Superman. Oh, man, you can make a horror game. Call it uh, Clock Tower. Oh, Put it yeah. on Super Nintendo. That's another game that's yes. really underrated. Maybe we should stream that next time. Yeah, Clock, Clock Tower. Tower for the Super Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be sweet. The thing about the Super Nintendo version of I've Clock never Tower is it. that the only way to actually get the okay. game without having to just to import, import the Famicom is uh, to get the reproduction card. Is to get a reproduction card if you want it in English. Yeah. Or download it via ROM. Yeah, for In English. English. All right, so here we Which go. Which is kind of sad, so it says, you know, that we never... Today, Nintendo so has confirmed mm -hmm. recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new gaming console called the TES, the Elder Scrolls, early next year. Uh, and the console mm -hmm. features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. You say Elder Scrolls? Yeah, because T-E-S. The Elder Scrolls. Oh, okay. Get it? Yeah, right. Our post analysis is Superman is complete. Superhero and action is a great combination. Artificial intelligence seems to be very important for this type of game. And we're selling good amounts. We got 146 cents. Uh, spans. <laughs> Sorry. All right, we're going to research. Um, we're going to do more topics. Time travel. Gotta make Doctor Who. Was that... Did Doctor Who ever have a video game um, way back then? I like to think that it did, like on like the Commodore 64, and we just didn't know about it. Yeah. Um, although I could find out right now. Uh, okay, time travel. Um, I know Doctor Who had a video game on PSN. Really? That was oh, terrible. yeah. And apparently it was really Okay, so post-apocalyptic, my phone I, haven't played I got a it. Facebook message. Uh, here it is. It's called Doctor Who The Adventure Games. It's a series of episodic third-person adventure games. Oh, wait. It's... What's this on? Oh, no. Is this just... Oh, it was on Microsoft Windows, released on June 5th, 2010 to October 31st, 2011. Oh, cool. Was that like June a social 5th, game? June 5th, 2010, yeah. Was that it was game? a uh, graphic adventure genre, single player, you download, it was through download, uh -huh. and it was called The Adventure Games. Alright, so anyway, it says, uh, post-apocalyptic, we're going to make Fallout. So yeah, there was games out there. Of Doctor um, Who zombies. Was, just didn't, you know... Superman is now off the market, well... Yeah, have the other screen. Yeah, in the I know. We actually are trying to figure out how to have two screens. I've tried to figure that out. Of having, we had the yeah. we had a Skype. We remember we did this way back, yeah. like a year ago in when October. We uh, when we when we had we did a Skype call thing where um, Spencer had um, he showed with XSplit his computer screen. Yeah. Of him playing Dark Souls, and I was playing Dark Souls at the same time as well. 
Unfortunately, though, his quality looked really bad, and we didn't want to make his quality look high quality because that yeah, might slow it would down really our internet. Make it because bad. our internet here is pretty terrible. It's pretty, I would say, it's, below average. Yeah. You know, I think Comcast would be better. <laughs> that that I, I, I said that yes. Okay, so we're gonna make a uh, zombie game. Uh, it's gonna be a um. Say zombie strategy game. Hold on, let's let's uh, let's change that to time travel adventure. Uh, on the, I would say let's try it on the. Let's see what has a better. Right, let's see what I got okay. review. Let's try the G sixty four, which is Commodore. Um, Love it, Star Games. Next one, Ninja in Action is a great combination. Yeah, of course. Anybody who's played Ninja Gaiden would know. Yep. Actually, games work well on the G sixty four, which is Commodore sixty four. Okay, I have no idea. Shows potential all games, which gave me a six. All right, so story so I, I would eight, think eight, is kind eight, of average. And six, all games. I don't all right, like I'm not games. sure if Doctor Who Time Travel Adventure works, so we're gonna we're just gonna go crazy with this, and we're gonna see if this um succeeds. Okay, artificial intelligence. Lower that down a little. Level design. Um, dialogue. I think is important for adventure games. I'm not entirely cer certain. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. Um, what's great about this game, though, is that you do move out from the garage when you get a hundred thousand. But Just like in real to anybody, life, to anybody who um, starts out this game, wait until you get like a, your first million or something like that. Then move out of the. Oh no! Wait, you already have a hundred thousand. I think it's when you get a million you go into yeah, the studio. Yeah, around million or five. Um, I, I would say have months. like three to two million because I think that'd be more important. Sound. Slow that down. I'm just, I'm just guessing. I'm not sure. All right, bye guys. Gonna watch a stream from eight thirty to ten thirty. See you guys later. All right, All see, right you later. see you later, Pharaoh Eleven. Thanks, thanks for, for joining yeah, us. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. That's fa um, yes. fantastic. You know. Thank you. All right, so, uh, and it's released Doctor Who. Oh, you called it Doctor Who. Yeah. Okay. I thought okay. you meant like you're gonna make a pun. I have not watched Doctor Who in about three Doctor years. Doctor How, as in How. Okay, so uh, leveled up the graphics though. Let's um, release this. All right, the first reviews for newly released Doctor Who came in. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, it's close. Why is the game? Why was the game called Blank? Oh, it, it gets that idea. If, go check your game history. I think it might be still I called still that. Still had it. Blank. I changed the name. You're not though. looking at the big picture. Don't. Uh, <laughs> don't you worry about Blank? Or what was that line from Futurama? Well, when he says, "Don't you worry about Blank," let, let me, me worry, worry about, about Blank. blank. All right, let's make a horror game. Horror. Horror adventure. It's called horror. Horror. Because we don't want to make it sound like we're saying the other word. Horror. Yeah. Um, I just finished Doctor Who, and I am impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business, and we could use skills like yours. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know, and we'll see if I have some more for you. Jason. We're going to call this game Clock Tower. From Heavy Rain. No, um, wait. We're going to call... No, wait. We're not going to make a game yet. No. Uh, can I buy... All right, so contracts have been unlocked. To see available them. contracts, we're post this message, and then click on anyway. I'm going to call that... Prominent space. Yeah, and action. anyone, uh, there's we'll also uh, contracts in this game, which you can yeah. use to uh, get some quick cash, and it requires you to put this much design or technology in something. Yeah. Uh, or both. Um, we'll, we'll show it for an example right now. Contracts are a useful tool to earn extra cash when your balance is low and can be also useful to generate a small number of research points. Contracts require you to generate a certain amount of design and technology points before the time runs out. Decide carefully what contract you accept. If you miss the deadline for a contract, you will have to pay a penalty. So it's better to start out with smaller contracts and see how much you can handle. All right, so let's do, let's say, play test. Come on, don't don't scratch the head. There. Yeah, because there's always the head scratch, which, that is, thing really cripples which really cripples the game a lot. Um, good, 12,000. I got word from the client that the contract was completed successfully. Excellent work. Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back sometime. Fantastic. All right. Uh, research. Evolution. Because why not? Sure. I've never tried evolution as the genre. Evolution? Before. Yeah. It's called Spore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. So it makes, yep, it totally makes sense. All right, uh, evolution's been researched. Um, research. Uh, I'm trying to think of a name. Government for a space action game. Uh, I make a government game. Uh, no, I, I have no idea what American government is like. I'm from Canada, so I have like. I was yes. gonna make an Obamacare joke and just call the game Obamacare, but.
but what was it about? It's like it's government. Go watch for another 11, three minutes. All right, Fear. All right, uh, cool, Fear sweet. It's tough to say your name real fast. <laughs> yeah. He was successfully researched. Not that's a bad government. thing. It's not all good. Yeah. Okay. Just so I get tough. distracted from something else, and then I just. Um, okay. So yeah. Let's do. Uh. Hmm. Do, did you do zombies? No, I want. I did not. Zombies Let's, action. Uh, action game, and we'll put it on the. Don't put it on the NES. I don't think it'll work. The NES. Uh. Yeah. And plus, you got to buy the console, so license costs eighty thousand. Yeah. Let's put it on PC right now. Call okay. the game. Uh. What was that game called? Wasteland. Uh, yeah, Wasteland. I think it's called Wasteland yeah. or something. Whatever. It's it's, it was that old, uh, uh, I think, DOS game. All right. Engine up. Gameplay is kind of important. Story and quest not important. I'm making a game called Space Action Asteroid Belt. Really? I didn't oh, know Asteroid Belt. I thought you were actually calling it Space Action Asteroid Belt. It's like a really long name. No, no, no. <laughs> The recent release TS I didn't want to Home call Plus by Nintendo has proven to be a massive so success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. As one customer says, quote, I love the games that come with the TES, and playing with the controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Oh man, you know what that means? Stop making PC games. They're never going to be popular ever again. Yeah. Oh, she's got the head scratch going on. Yeah, I hate when you I know it, do that. It, I mean, it stops. It's worse. It stops the development of the yeah. game as well on the bar below. But it's worse when you're doing contracts. Yeah, you have to do contracts, and then mm -hmm. they sit there and be stupid. And, and it's like, like you run out of time. We're back taking to work. Taking fifteen thousand away. Yeah, exactly. That just really sucks. Um, okay. Oh, God, I really hate that move. All right. What move? This the, scratch? the scratching head scratch. Yeah. Thing. You get a lot of achievements in this game from Steam, which is uh, fantastic. By the way, I, I think that's awesome. I almost the hardest one to get is the unobtainium achievement. It is impossible, and all same with the eleven out of ten one. It is tough. Good, everything leveled up. Okay, release game. Uh, the first reviews for a new release game, Wasteland, has come in. Oh God, uninspiring. Oh man, action works well. Uh, have seen better, and. Uh, not bad, not good. Ouch. <laughs> that was, um, not the best game. I remember when I made a game. Oh, yeah, I made a, I made a game way back when. Uh, and it was a rest of development joke. It was a prison simulation game. It was like a take on the uh, game Prison Architect on Steam. Uh, yeah. But it was called Musings from Prison, which is a, a, a book from a rest of development. Someone's got a truck outside, and they're being really loud. Ugh. That's what you get when you have the windows open during a hot okay, bye. summer day. Fero 11 says bye. See you later. See ya, I guess. I'm so glad. I'm still glad that so that I made asteroid tuned in. belts. I got a seven. seven. Recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of ten. game devices have also also creates Eight. a market for more specialized games. Like Some platforms become more popular with younger gamers, while others cater to the more Eight. mature groups. Eight. As more and more developers enter the market, we expect developers to focus their games Eight. on specific Nine. age groups to really make an impact. Yeah, versus, we unlocked target on. Uh, versus Bob says hello. Hey, hello, versus, versus Bob. Bob. What's up? I almost read that as Beelzebub. Maybe I think that actually might. Is. Yeah, maybe. Don't uh, forget creating custom engines. Uh, this will improve your games a lot. You can create your own custom Bob engine Hoover. through the action menu once you've researched okay. the custom engine. Oh yeah, I got the TES. The you're selling way more copies than I am when you're with your game Asteroid Belts. Asteroid Belts. I sh oh, I should have made a Who's Line reference and call it Asteroid Boogaloo. All right, we're going to research target audience, because that's actually really important for this game. Target audience is insanely important for Game Dev Tycoon, because that way you can make a bunch of mature games and make loads of cash off that. That's what I did in my previous game. I forgot, I had a company in this game. Oh, I accidentally skipped that tip, um, or that text. I had a company called Ion Storm, which is the company that made Dai Katana and Deus Ex. Um, good, we research target audience. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to do more researching. Uh, martial arts games. We're going to make the Chuck Norris video game. Oh, are you serious? Yeah, how it, Can I see your topics? Heck what yeah. have got so far? Um, for well, topics. Oh, for topics. Um, yes. Well, we have to wait for this research. Oh, uh, you have to wait for the research? Um, yeah. Won't take long. Doesn't take long, no. You can only see the topic based on Brandon's it's, screen. It's usually all just... Not my screen. Yeah. Because we got to figure out right, how to so, make two screens. Uh, develop a new game. Here's going. the topics. Okay, so we got UFO, Ninja, Mystery, School, Evolution, Superheroes, Post-Apocalyptic, Time Travel, Government, Zombies, Martial Arts. Government. And it's all randomized Government every Government Simulation. Time. What's that Government Simulation game? Where um, 
you had to be running the... You could nuke, like, other nations. Yeah, exactly. Or something like that. It was a simulation oh, game. Oh, no, something like that. It's called... Like, you could do and that. And you could actually be assassin. And it's all it takes place in front of a screen or something like mm -hmm. that. You never actually see the people you interact with. But the game, like, tells you, like, someone's so left because you all were right. doing this. We're going to acquire the you know, license like, oh, for the NES, a martial arts game, and we're going to call it... Um, what was that game that was, like, really bad? It was that kung fu game. Oh, man. Not Kung Fu or, well, Karate Kid's kind of bad. Um, it was that other game. It was called, like, Martial Art Master or something like that. Or Karate Tournament. Is it Karate Tournament? Karate Master, I think. No. Oh, is it Karate Master? Yeah, look that up right now. I want to see... I'm going to look that up, because Karate Master was terrible. Um, NES. Just that's look NES. That up, NES. Karate Champ. Yeah, Karate Champ. Karate right. Champ. All right. Champ. We're going to call it Karate Champ. Put it on the NES for young groups. 2D graphics. How's the chat going on? Uh, the chat is still up and running. Hasn't crashed yet. Not okay. that it has crashed before, but you never know. You sometimes get disconnected. Oh, so you can only do certain topics a few times before... On oh, before it gets stale? Yeah, or something. Oh, no. Never mind. I'm being stupid. Uh, now I'm trying You're to pick a topic to research. Topics. Sorry. I'm you idiot. Pick a medieval. Okay. Uh, right. Today, Sega has I'm confirmed... So I'm, calling, I'm calling it Sega, even though it's Venna, but has confirmed about recent rumors... About a new gaming console and confirmed the Master V, which is the Master System. The company claims that the Master System is technically superior to the Master V successful NES by Nintendo and plans to release it in the coming months. Uh, by the way, this game is also mod friendly. Is it mod friendly? Yeah, it's mod friendly. I so, know that. It's great though. Yeah, I'm glad that it is. Um, I kind of like it how it's, uh, you know, they're actually fine with that, which is good. Because you never really have much mod-friendly games on Steam. We're starting to get that with Workshop, which is fantastic. But not many indie games are Workshop-friendly, except maybe Mountain Blade. All right, um, yeah, that's fine. Okay, so Cry Champ. I would like to just release it right away. Well, don't release it right away. Wait for the bugs. Yeah, and release. Cry Champ is ready. Good story quest level up, world design leveled up. All right, release the game. You can always trash it too, just so you get experience. But you know, I always mm -hmm. just release everything constantly. First reviews for our newly released game, Karate Champ, came in. All right, here we go. Seven. It's beautiful. Apparently, it's a beautiful game. Cry Champ is beautiful. A post-apocalyptic RPG and call it Fallen. Oh RPG. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna call it that uh, when we get the uh, Xbox 360 when that comes out in the yes. PS3. Once gonna, we get like I'm gonna use stuff. that name. Yes. Once we get the uh, new consoles like the Xbox 60 and stuff like that, we're gonna make P that. Not Xbox 360. Oh, it's called. Something oh else. yeah, I should make Fall in first one, then Fall in two. Yeah. And then we wait for the Xbox to come out. Oh, no, we got make Fall in Tactics. Clan of Iron. Yeah. Clan of Brotherhood of Steel. That really. Steel. Really, kind of below average Xbox game. I've never tried it. Um, I remember. I oh, yeah, there's also Fallout Tactics too. Fallout Tactics, yeah, that's. Um, all right, so martial arts and action is a good combination. Well. Dialogue seems not be not at all important for this type of game, and the topic audience match young and martial arts is bad. TM, it's trademark. Yeah, but the, a, actually, add the TM. At can, the can we add the TM? If you can't, then that's a bunch of crap. Okay, uh, we're developing um, dungeon games. Oh, we're gonna have we gotta have Dungeons and Dragons, man. Oh yeah. I'm surprised that I don't have, like, you can combine topics, can't you? Yeah, you can have more than one topic later in future, on in the game, yeah. like, so way can, if, later if, into if the dragons game. If Dragons is a topic... No, it's not. Call it Dungeons and Dragons. Like Dungeons no, I don't think Dragons is a topic. All right, we're going to read another be. one. Um, vocabulary. Sci-fi. Why not? I kind of find that ridiculous how they go, okay, sci-fi and... UFO are separate topics. Well, well, isn't science fiction UFOs are part of science fiction? So why? Well, are they technically, separate? UFOs is like uh, the science fiction, the red, the, the the saucers kind of thing. You know, like the invasions of the saucers or whatever, or whatever it was called. That old movie, I can't really remember. Um, I can't remember. Uh, okay, so we're gonna make a new, and we're gonna a new game, uh, post-apocalyptic action game. Oh wait, wouldn't it be an RPG technically? Because Fall was an RPG. Yes, it, it is. It it, Fall is an RPG. Alright, we're gonna put it on PC. Uh, we're gonna Fall in one. Yeah. Two hundred. Uh, what's going on? History. I can't click the. Oh. Oh, there. That's what, uh. Firo11 says two whole hours late for the stream. Ah. 
Yeah, it sucks when you actually miss streams, especially like, you know, if it's something that's like very important. Like there. for example, uh, when E3 did streams, like when games. Is it, should he spell it like that? Streams. Fall in like that? Yes. Jake is not talking. Apparently, about Vampire him. Wolf is a topic. Yeah, See, which is that's weird. Ridiculous. Why is Vampire Wolf was a topic, and I sit there going like, okay, I don't really remember any werewolf games. I remember story often. is super important. Game Vampire is fine. would make sense for a topic because again, it's like there were some know, Dracula games back then on the NES and stuff like that. Yeah, well, that and then there was also um, like Vampire the Masquerade games, you know. Yeah, um, Vampire Masquerade was pretty cool. Like Vampire Masquerade games, and then there was uh, oh man, the design was there was cool. something else. Then there was those crappy Vampire Rain. Vampire Rain, yeah, that, that was, was that was that was horrible. Game. That was a vampire related game. Oh uh, yeah. Um, but like Werewolf, I, Werewolf in video games, it's always been like it's been a part of like games that have vampires in it. Yeah. It was you Eastern know. Time. That, oh, uh, yeah. That happened to me one time. I hate that. Right, world design is important. Sound, not really. Oh, graphics, kind of lower that down. We switch target audience. Okay, we're going to we're gonna see it like this. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Steve O'Connell, a reporter for Planet Double T. Uh, we've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audience. Would you willing to give an interview about this? Yes. Uh, great. Dot, dot, dot. Thanks for your time. We will publish the interview next week. I remember sometimes you were given the choices of being modest or hype the game up, and if it does meet expectations, then you get a lot of companies. Planet, uh, a lot of money, that is. Planet Double G has recently published an interview with another cast, so according to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted for at mature players. Jennifer, owner and CEO of Another Castle, said, quote, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we are willing to take a risk to give it to them. Many industry experts say that sooner or later games with mature themes will become more common we are curious to see how the market will react to these games hype 13 uh developing a great game is not the only recipe for success it is essential to build hype to ensure that players are excited about your game in the beginning of your career hype is mostly generated through random events once you gain more experience you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype Genius. yeah you can use other marketing Genius. things like uh magazines large campaigns mm -hmm. and stuff like that yeah, yeah. Right. um you research casual games We're gonna change. The, we're gonna change the title to what uh, Berzabov suggested. Fallout One. Have a nice fall. We're gonna, we're gonna change. We're gonna okay. change. We're changing it to that. Yes. One. I wonder if it fits. You gotta also press the check mark. In case. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Because you didn't do that. Yeah, I didn't do that. No. Have a nice fall. Oh yeah, Wolf Among Us. Yeah. I, oh, of um, course. I remember that it was a season finale that came out. I recently. forgot that. That's like. Oh man. I haven't gotten that game either. I really should get Zero it. I have 11. Walking Dead. Thank you for reminding uh, Wolf Among Us. That game actually just came out with its final episode. Final season. Uh, season final, finale. Season finale episode um, on Steam recently. It's from the same guys sure. who made The Walking Dead. Yeah, so. it's by the same guys who made The Walking Dead video games and the Back to the Future games, I think. Yeah, Telltale. Telltale, Telltale. Telltale games. Telltale In games. An official statement, a G64 employee. That's a really employed. good game. I'm glad you mentioned that, because there was something in my head where was like, I was like, there's a, a game. game out there, and I don't remember, because I was trying to think of old games. The like Skyrim NES. Count? The Skyrim Count for Werewolves? Well, Werewolves are You can become of, one, and yeah. there was also that Dawn Guard DLC, which is yeah. Vampires and Werewolves. All right. that, yeah, that's true. A G64 employee said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. Oh, well, that's a shame. First reviews for a new release game in Fallen, uh, Fallen 1. Have a nice fall. Came in. Oh, man. Oh, love it. Star Games loves it. That's another word for smoke. Smoke? Yeah. I have no idea. Because I want to make it a just joke to gun smoke. Because not the show Gunsmoke, but the NES Gun, gun game, dot smoke. Yep. Gun. But you hear me need smoke. So like, but you have it rifle comma. Yeah, rifle comma, like a joke. Oh, a joke okay. Title. Okay. Rifle comma. Um, so yeah, Fallen 1 did really well. Smog. <laughs> oh, rifle comma smog. It rolls Screw off it. the tongue pretty care. good. Okay. Uh, rank 21, that's not bad. Fallen 1, have a nice fall. 660 fans. Are we going to get 666 fans? Uh, news. According to our market research, the recently published Fallen 1 Have a Nice Fall is surprisingly hit with players. Developer Another Castle is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Now, we're going to do a game report for this game. 
Pretty good though, considering 7.5. It's hard to get really popular games when you start out. Excuse me. <clears throat> Today, Nintendo announced that they will introduce a portable gaming device called the Game Boy. Uh, the device comes in. The device comes with uh, changeable game cartridges, a monochrome screen on a green background, built-in speakers, and even multiplayer support via a connection cable. Compared to PCs and other gaming consoles, the Game Link, excuse me, is underpowered. But given the lower cost and excellent portability, it might find a huge following. Well, the Game Link, Game Boy. Sorry, I should call it the Game Boy. Is said to hit shelves next month. <laughs> Yeah, God, patient. Oh God! Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> oh man, that's <laughs> that's actually that's really stuff. good. That's it's rather gun die, gun patient, or gun California, or gun Hong Kong. Yes, that's it. Oh no, wait, I don't no. know if Hong Kong. I know Beijing is really small yeah. because I watched Idiot Abroad, and he mentioned how it was he all gray. How there's always gray Rhythm everywhere because it's smog. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually a really good joke. That was awesome. All right. Okay. I have 300 thou. All right. We're rich. You have successfully completed a new topic or research. Uh, Fallen One, have a nice day, is now off the market. It sold 38,000 units, generating 266,000 in sales. Um, okay, research another thing. Uh, let's research more topics. Military games. I remember I, I, I made a, a game that was a uh, play on for Call of Duty called yeah. uh, Made of Explodium because everything blows up in the game. Uh, it was a military action have game, the, and it was so games. popular, it was yeah. like 10 out of 10. Yeah. It was crazy. Or it was like 9.5, and then I made Explodium 2. And it was obviously again. just a joke about how, like, Call of Duty games... Blood of the like, Werewolf? You know. oh, Blood of the Werewolf was a guys of the Werewolf. Uh, look up a look fighting up. game. Yeah, yeah, Mark of the Wolf was a fighting game. Yeah. But I don't know if that was specific... Yeah, it's like, uh... Oh, no, it was... Yeah, Mark of the Wolves. Oh That's yeah, a, uh, yeah. Gar Garu, Mark Garu, Mark of the, Mark of the Wolves. And then um, there was okay. He mentioned Blood of the Wa uh, Blood, Blood of the Wolves. Well, I'm pretty sure Mark of the Wolves is just the title because it says yeah. it's produced by SNK, so it's sort of like more of an SNK. All right, let's do some contract universe. work. Let's do what uh, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's related into the King of Fighters universe because mm -hmm. I mentioned Geese Howard. That's after he dead. With Rock Howard and stuff. So right. yeah. Um, what's that? that? What's the game he mentioned though? Uh, let um, me check. I guess shrunk it. Lost in game called Justin Stupid. How to drink? <laughs> I'm actually gonna make that right now. What's that um, lawyer commercial? Um, oh, what was Binder that? Bender and Bender. Bender and Bender. Oh, Bender and Bender. Ah, there you go. What is that a title for your Futurama episode? Bender and Bender. Probably. I don't know. I just uh, can I think? You know. It was Lost in? I don't think we uh, have law. Of no, I don't have law yet. Darn. Uh, Oh, it yeah, it's on it's Xbox 360. Oh, yeah, is it any good? It's on oh, Steam. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, I remember seeing that, yeah. actually, during the... Yeah, that's... Okay, now I actually saw um, the title. There's Guys yeah. of the Werewolf, which is actually, like, pretty bad or something Why like is it that? Blood of the Werewolf Altered Beast? Oh. Meets oh, Castle... Oh, okay. People were talking about Blood of the Werewolf. Cool, it's like Altered Beast meets Castlevania, apparently. Apparently. That's, that's kind of awesome. Man. All right, we're going to make a... So, if it's meets Castlevania... Um, a military action called Call of Battlefield, How to Fly. Yes, we're going to do that right now. Oh. All right, on PC. That is so true. You have no idea All right. how true that title is. Because seriously, every time I play Battlefield 3. I remember I flew a jet one on time and I console, crashed. On console, so you think it'd be easier. It's not. With two joysticks. You know, because I played like Halo and stuff. And it was always like, move with the left. You know, move the, uh, you know, it was like, I'm you making know, call you to field, to how to fly. And then, when, and. but if Battlefield does it, I, was, I immediately would crash into the building or just like not be able to take off. I remember I, 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 I remember I was pretty good no. at flying a chopper, but and flying a jet, like I like seconds. crashed into the, like a mountain and it was over for me. You ever see that um, animated um, image of uh, where he um, was able to, okay, I got rifle, comma, smog. Oh god! It sucked. It's a waste of time. <laughs> Says Star That's Games. That's three. Waste of time. Three, two, three. Pretty bad. Says Informed Gamer. Says Informed Gamer. Uh, waste of money. Oh man. Says Game Hero. And, and that was a three. Five. Action games work well on G64. <laughs> so he's not even like reviewing the game. He's more like yeah, pointing was... out the obvious stuff. With yeah, interest games in work. video games, there is also a great That's audience for video it. game like, magazines. Nothing else going uh, for it. All right, these magazines Casual offer a great games. new way for game developers to market their upcoming games. New research. Right, what did Mark. I do wrong with this game? Yeah, that's what I'd like to know. Okay, I'm able to do casual games. You know what they should have called it? What? Filthy casual games. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
Uh, finish. Oh, good. wow, I actually got All right, pretty one good happened. Design Wild West and yeah. action is a good combination. Artificial intelligence, artificial it's intelligence important. seems to be very important for this type of game. Since that nothing was wrong with it. Everyone, so I did good. I did yeah. Western action. I did Wild West in action. That was fine. Yeah. I don't know if I did artificial intelligence right. Uh, the platform audience. Oh wait, hold on. With everyone. Right. So here, I don't here are the know reviews. Here are the reviews. Ten. Ten. Oh. Ten. Oh. Ten. Oh. Ten. Oh. Oh, you stupid! <laughs> all games. Uh, Birds like, of Bob, thank you for that title because you just made made us a really popular game. Yes, but screw you all, games, for giving us. Oh, sh oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's good. Uh, I'm I'm making that one. Oh, is that a, a school sim? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, school sim. Yeah, has achieved company sales record of fifty thousand units sold. All right, so I got to do cash. Oh man, look at it go. Uh, oh, but stupid all games. I could have actually gotten that Steam achievement with ten out of ten. But no. As a cheat, a company sales record 100,000. It's an important milestone in history of another castle. Congratulations, you made quite an name for yourself and saved up a lot of capital. You want to grow and the uh, company further, and then moving into a new office is the next step. I found the perfect office situated in a technology park. Would you like to move your company to the next level? Yes. Oh, we're no, still selling. The, we're still selling the game. So see. Yeah. Welcome to your new office. Now that you have a bigger office, games. you can also hire staff and forge a world-class development team to make even better games. You now may also train yourself and your staff to improve skills. Let's try this by completing a management course, which is required before you can hire your first employee. To get started, close this message, then click on your character to bring up the training menu. Okay, train, staff management. There we go. Man, that, that game, man. Sega, creator of the Master System console, has announced the Sega Game Gear. A portable console to directly compete against the Game Boy from Nintendo. A spokesperson for the company said, quote, Unlike similar devices on the market, which don't come close to gaming consoles on the Sega Game Gear, has basically the full power of the mass system, except that you can take it with you. The Sega Game Gear also has a full color screen. With this, will this device top the Game Boy? We will see. The Game Gear will debut in two months. Redfall, comma, Smog was the worst game I've released so far. <laughs> With a total score latest of 3.5. Uh, the latest game by Another Castle has received very positive reviews overall. Star Games gave it a 10, saying, quote, Military and action is a great combination. If Another Castle continues to innovate like this, they might become a new fan I'm gonna make, fate. I'm going to make a sci-fi RPG, and I'm going to call it... Uh, Mass Effect. <laughs> not Mass Effect. Okay, fine. No, not gonna, not gonna say I'm gonna the name. Call, actually, no, I'm gonna call it mass, not no, no effect, a affect, affect with an A. M rated M. Rated M. Platform. We're gonna put it on the. Uh, oh, you know what you should call it the game with that one sexiness that everyone complained about. Fox News. <laughs> uh, Fox News worst nightmare. Yeah. Or something. I don't know. Fox News report. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so fill position. Okay, time to fill position. Before you can hire someone, you have to advertise the open position. I'm gonna come put Set on an the, advertising I'm gonna put on budget. The Master V straight up. I'm gonna work and with Sega consoles. How, and decide how you want to test your app. Sorry, Vega consoles. Uh, Not high budget. Sega. I said high budget will complete, increase the number of applicants and the different tests will find help oh, find. Oh I should people. have called it that. Sci fi RPG call it. Little effect. effect. Damn. <laughs> Mr. <Damn>. Chance. <laughs> okay. Story and quest. Well, the story was up there. All right, we're going to make this 300,000. Uh, uh, we're going to make show yeah. me. Gameplay was good. As soon as you can't name the other employees, I don't think. Okay. It seems that another castle has recently moved into an office in a well-known technology park. And well, dialogue's got to be up there. AI is important. AI dialogue. Is high. Oh, yeah, it's an RPG. Level design. No, level design is kind of important. Yeah. Artificial intelligence lower that down a little. Okay. Well, Eli, that's pretty good. I don't know if anyone in my squad was pretty right. smart. The company, the which is known for its games such as Call of Battlefield, How to Fly, and Fall in One, Have a Nice how about, Fall, is reportedly operated out of a garage. Uh, what are the fans call? RPG called, called Little Effect Punching Reporters. Oh, man. Uh, one of the design, many fans call uh, many fans so of Call of Battlefield How to Fly commented, quote, I can't believe that they didn't even have a proper office until now, and that those games were created by only one person. Hi, I'm Steve really O'Connell, reporter for Planet GG. I've heard a rumor that your company is developing a game for mature audiences. Would you like to Don't forget that you can also yes, you can always train your employees. Great, thank you for your time. All right, so we Martha Kim, Brian Hardy, choose what I get to say. and Kyle Harrington. This is a guy named Bro oh, Hardy. Get Jeff Harvey. <laughs> yes, Brian, Brian Harvey. <laughs> Congratulations on your first hire. Our new employees have to settle in before they become fully effective. 
When a character is not fully efficient, you can see an efficiency bar next to them. This bar will fill up slowly over time. It is usually a good idea to give your new staff a welcome training yep. uh, to get them oh, up get to speed hyped. quickly. This will maximize their efficiency way faster than normally. Yep. Do this, like close this message, and click the character to bring up the action. New venue, new, new medium new games has been found. Train. Uh, staff welcoming. All right. Um, train. If you want to create hit games and have yeah, a world class train team. Okay, he said, name them employees. Okay, so you're really good at what you do, but I hate your name, so if you don't change it, I won't take you. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, yeah. I, I think Game Dev Story could let you do it, but I'm probably wrong on that. I don't think they could. I, I think I might be wrong. Uh-oh, pipe's going down. If you want to create hit games and have a world-class team, then training is important. For best results, train your staff regularly, but don't overwhelm them with too many sessions at once. There are different training options available. Some options are better to increase certain skills than others. Experimenting is the best way to figure out which training options fit your plan. Uh, it is useful to have a mix of specialists and all-rounders in your team, but aim to have at least one design specialist and one technology well, specialist. Well, I think I'm doing a really crappy Okay, game. so, the, so she, Jennifer, job. is even for everything. Okay. Like, jack-of-all-trades kind of thing. Let's do a game dev gems. Okay. Because... I don't so know. I think I accidentally created Mass Effect 3, not Mass Effect 1. Oops. Because so one, I got five, falls a bit short by Star Games. Okay. Six, their focus on world design served this game very well, informed gamer. Four, not bad, not good by, uh, game, by game Hero. And five, has its moments, all games. All right, today the new second game gets released. Call of Battlefield, How to Fly is now off the market. Oh, I guess we got a release when Call of Battlefield... Um, Pun for Black Ops or something, or Ghosts, Spirits. <laughs> okay. Contract list. Uh, I will wait until this guy's. Oh no, he's done. All right, so let's um make him research. Ah, oh, I can't do anything yet. Um, okay. New topic. Let's do law. We're gonna make that. Um, what was that law game he said? Justin Stever, how to drink. We're gonna make that. A Justin Stever. Yeah, for young audiences out there. Because. All right. Why not? Honestly, yeah, why not? Yeah, just, just let's do it. Generate game. Right, Developing the game screw up on is for young audiences effect. because everybody knows that uh, Justin Stever is a very influential person for the young audience. Yeah, exactly. Out there. So for the young audience, how to trick. All right, pick All topic. Right. Law, genre, a simulation. Oh, he said that? I think. Yeah, law sim game. Yeah, law sim game. There you go. And we're going to put it on the. NES, because it's really popular yep. with the youngins. I don't know why I you gotta call make... them youngins. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Okay, I... sci-fi and RPG is a great combination. <laughs> then why was it su why was it not successful? Artificial intelligence is very important for this type of game. Platform genre match, RPG, Master V, okay. Audience right, we're match, try it like mature, that. Master V, bad. Alright, um, here we go. We're making this game. Shoot or score? Let's do that right now. Let's, I'm going to try to research that topic. Is it so you don't want me over <laughs> over more my point <laughs> F you I stay in my chair and work all day for years so you can pretty be, much I mean like your yeah. character never takes a break he just stays yeah no the, the employee doesn't move you can send the other guys yourself, out to yeah. vacation you can go send your employees to vacation but not yourself so you're mm. just like I'm not sure how simulation on game. your desk or something yeah not. okay we're gonna try it like this here we go you definitely do a play test we gotta make Fallen too. Uh, world design, I think simulation game since it's world design, you gotta have it sound. He's not very good musically, so, you know, gotta lower down that sound. Alright, here we go, we're just, we're just trying, just going nuts and see what happens. Okay, here we go. It's not bad though for uh, design and tech, it is not entirely terrible. Hardware manufacturers around the world were surprised today that as uh, Commodore, the creator of the Commodore 64, has filed for bankruptcy. Commodore failed to introduce a higher priced alternative and was forced to shut down production of the C64. The platform will retire from the market early the next, next year. Thanks for the hint, but I'm terrible. Finish. Oh, vacation. Yeah, your vacation is a cop. Pretty much. It's it not is. like. It is, because, you know, yeah. we'll hire again. All right. Release. Oh, okay. Here we go. Fall Just to see come him. back from fall. Yes, we're making that. Here we go. Oh man! Oh no! Just Not bad. Super. Not good. Eh, it's okay. Meh. Uninspiring, just like Justin Bieber's real career. Uh, their focus on artificial intelligence served this game really well. I don't know if he has intelligence. Yeah. Although he is very artificial. Oh yeah. So there you go. 
Hopefully this makes a lot of money. We should right, have hyped. So we should have hyped. Topic it. Boss, I've discovered that some really dedicated fans of Doctor Who have created a fan game using a lot of material from a game. They won't. They don't make any money with it, and it just seems let them to let do them it be. for fellow fans. Our legal advisor strongly suggests that we shouldn't allow this to go on. Quote what you do? Beatles. Beatles. Let them be. That's not what the Beatles specifically say. No. They say let it be. Yeah. But. Just let the game be. Yeah, let them no. be. Okay, we're gonna do another. We're gonna fill another position. Game you can hire up to four employees in the office. Don't try to hire everyone at once, as expen as staff are expensive. Many rookies hire too early and go bankrupt. It is best to take it slow. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have just a hundred like hundred fifty, and we're gonna have complex, whatever um, that word it. was. I don't know. Our post analysis of Justin Sieber, how to drink, is complete, and we got the following results. Lawn simulation is a good combination. Oh, wow, wow there you that. go. Sound seems to be not very important for this type of game, and, well, exactly. Uh, and platform for it, eh, simulation NES is okay. I like how it's making very subtle insults yeah. to it. And we don't even, it's not Hi, even like I'm the game Denise Reed, the main developer of Doctor Who fan game. I've recently been informed that your legal department has advised you to stop us, and I just wanted to say that I'm very, very grateful that you didn't. I know the castle is the best company in the world, and I'm glad I can be part of the fan community. That's We've gained true, 310, 310 fans. Smiling face. Okay, here we go. We got Zachary Miller, Chris Maley, and Lucille Shelt. Well, we gotta have Lucille. I mean, I've watched the rest of development. About, gotta have um, Lucille. Instead of Fallout 2, how about Fall Into Butcher P? Part 2. That'll be number 3. Call it number th uh, Fall 3. Uh, fall in 3. Butcher P. Butcher Peter. <laughs> oh, so, you know, yeah. Butcher Parker. So, immediately uh, say that. You yeah, know. yeah. Okay. Here we go. Uh, all right, we're gonna we're gonna research. I'm gonna tell Jennifer. We're to gonna make an research. evolution game. Okay. Uh, Marketing. Uh, I yes. don't know if it's gonna be. Let's make an evolution RPG. I was imagine. What was that, that game cool. that was on the SNES that would allow you to evolutionize from like dinosaur to like fish to dinosaur or something? Oh man. I don't know why I was making hand motions, but. I've heard you'd be very the successful in the game business. The only game where I kind of... I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. How to revive... Oh, that's good. Uh, that's I heard good that you've been very successful in the gaming business and are starting to grow your team. I've updated our client list. Actually, no, so we'll if you're it, interested... We'll and so if you're looking for some contract work, Medieval. let me know. Medium-sized contracts have been unlocked. Okay, um, I gotta train this person. Welcome training. Yay! Okay. So... Let's see. Uh, Justin Sieber, how to drink is off the market. Oh well. Oh, uh, whoops. Hey, but we did our best, man. You did. Okay, you here did. we go. We're gonna make a new game. We're gonna make Fall in Two. Fall in Two. Uh, from what Money he said. Money action game. We're gonna call Come it. Back from fall. Come back from. Will it fit? Fall. Yes, oh, it good. obviously fits. Is it come? Yeah, come back all one word. Okay. Uh, RPG. It is a post-apocalyptic. RPG, rated M. It is for the PC. Oh, we need to make a custom engine. We should really focus on that. Okay, gameplay engine, lower that down. Uh, story and quest is very important. There's an engine running outside, and it is sort of annoying. Seriously. Yeah. Evolution game, call it Square, the life cycle. Yes, there you go. Square, the life cycle? You make oh, that, no! Make that oh, wait, game no. right now. Make that game okay. right now, Spencer. Make right. it for the young Dialogue. audiences. Our official intelligence Evolution, is Evolution, simulation. We're going to call it Square, the life cycle. The names of these titles are in your hands, chat. Yeah. All right, so, here we go. World design, very important. It's Sound. funny because Square, life cycle, it's, you know, it's square. Hmm. Yeah. It's hip to be square. That's a song, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. We're going to make we're development. Done. Oh, not much technology in this game. But we got a lot of design. Speaking of which, I did finish downloading Fallout 3 today on Steam, which I should I should play after this. Because um, Fallout 3, I was reading up on the like, creepiest locations in Fallout 3, and uh, there's this Dunwich building that I want to check out. Okay, so let's do some training. Actually, no. Let's let's not do training. We're gonna try to get a custom engine. Okay. Uh, try not to release the game. Oh yeah, for anybody who's um, just started this game, don't release games um, so fast. Wait for them to like some of the games to come off the market first, and then do it. Yes, yeah, senior. I think. Um, for row eleven. For row eleven's leaving. Okay. Uh, it's not bad, but again, like I said before, your bank accounts in the red. Thank you. Oh, I messed up. Oh, already. you're screwing up. Played it for days. It's great. Fallen 2's... I don't know. Hit. I guess gameplay would be up there. I have no idea. 
All right, and, uh, well, six Let's is okay. See. Six quirky, but it's good. It wasn't Fallout 2 kind of okay when it came out. It was like, eh, it's not as good as the first game, but it's, it's okay. You know, a lot of people had that. Um, generate game report. Fallen 2. Uh, we're gonna train, uh, him, uh, what is important for him. We're gonna make this guy, uh, all around kind of design, but we're gonna help him with tech. All right, this person's gonna be strictly technology, so we need code incomplete. I think that is the tech one. Okay. Yes. Now, I'm going to say dialogue's not that important. Level design's going to be up there. Artificial, Artificial intelligence, intelligence is really important, actually. There, especially for AI. I think, yeah. You know, especially for simulation. You so, think um, the AI Fallen 2, come back really from Fall, important. is sound seems to be very, and uh, not to be very important for this type of game, and audience is great for mature, for uh, post apocalyptic. It's, it's great. It's great. It's perfect. It's fantastic. I guess to call it Battlefield, How to Fly was like the best game we've made. Okay. All right. Let's see. Graphics. Let's, let's do some contract work. Let's do debug program. Well, From design. time to time, your employees I need to recharge no the batteries and go on vacation. Yeah. Bob All right, three. let's do it. Who is this? Uh, who, who is this guy, Lee? That rhymes. Oh, it does. Uh, need to recharge the batteries. You go on vacation. You can tell that an employee is in need of rest when their efficiency steadily decreases. To give them a holiday, just click on them and select it. Send on vacation. Technology's good. Come on, Square. The life cycle. Be the game to get me out of debt. Doubt it, but it's not, it's probably fine. not. Let's I release this game anyway. All right, game off the market. Sega has announced that they will release a new gaming console. All right, here we go. Months. Square Life Cycle. Oasis. Oh, no, man. Oh, no, no. It might Six get you out of could have been better by Star Games. Let's see. Six. I like, like it. Informed Gamer. Six shows potential. It's okay. Hero. And... Oh, me from The Walking Dead. Oh. Quirky but good. All games. Six. Oh, All okay, right. yeah. Uh, okay, so Sega so, Genesis comes uh, with 16 bit graphics and sound, which promises a new kind of gaming experience. Sega said at Can the I announcement, the, the Genesis is a new start. It will be the genesis of a new okay. generation I've of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well in the market. Whew. Some of the games already that announced for consoles suggest that it will appeal to more mature audiences. Thank you for taking care of us. We'll transfer 15k to your account. <laughs> okay. Uh, not firing them. Uh, okay, we're gonna send. Well, we're not gonna send them on vacation just yet. We're gonna make a new game. Proposition. I got a what was secret message. Special off. I just have recently managed to borrow some research information which may interest you. Yes. Okay. Agent Blowfish. Agent Agent Deep Throw. Deep Deep Go. Deep Go. Um. Okay. Let's see. Uh. What is another name for this game? Uh, Three combination. We can. can very uh, let's see. Platform. Okay. Let's let's do shoot or score. Oh, I don't have sports. Okay, we're gonna make a school game called School Hello Child. Oh my God. Yeah, it might be a reference from Can you from actually South, from South Park from Chef? Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna make it a uh, young audience game. It is a simulation game for the um, the Game Boy. Let's Where do let's do we Game Boy. Are going to research. All right, here we go. We're making School Hello Child. Surgery. Because simulation and surgery goes together like bread and butter. Right? Yeah, it totally does. I mean, look at Steam, Sur Surgeon Simulator, look at life man. Life and death. Just life and death. Trauma yeah, Center. Yeah. Perfect. Dude, perfect. There you go. All right. Dialogue. I mean, there's Steam really. Hospital, but I'm not sure if that counts. It technically. It's probably more hospital. Oh, yeah, there's a hospital, hospital topic, actually. All right, let's try Stop it like that. Stop scratching your head, you dummy. Okay. Surgery. You know, on the no topic research. of Fallout 3, yes. Um, right. you know what's really tough to do in Fallout 3? What's that? Make right? a character that looks good and actually doesn't look like every other NPC no, in the game. We, no, that's for that's Oblivion, Brand. Oh, yeah. It's tough to make a character that looks good in Oblivion. Yes. It's amazing, because I remember uh, when I first got Skyrim on the Xbox 360, when it was pretty much recent. It looked really good. Um, we I, haven't I played Oblivion in like year. three years. I played it, and I remember Oblivion's graphics. I was like, man, those characters look terrible. <laughs> yeah, they look, don't look And that I never great. really looked at images of what Skyrim was going to look like. Yeah. So I want to keep myself surprised. Um, <sighs> Should have called it that. I'm Who says I'm not? Oh, yeah, you can do it right now. I can do that right now. All right, Sega Genesis has been released. Release. Oh, we got a bug. 
Damn. Okay. Don't worry. If you can, patch it. Um, yeah, I think, I think you can. You can unlock that later. We're gonna, I'm gonna save up, um, our, what is it, what is it? Agent Blowfish, this is very first offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information that might be interested of you. If you're interested, then transfer 52,000 to the enclosed upland cookies. We'll contact you, Agent Blowfish, yes. Thank you for your business. You have successfully researched Spy. I'm releasing it on the PC. It's on a vacation. The first reviews for a new game, uh, School Hello Children came in. Oh my god, it's not actually not bad. I'm actually very surprised. Played it for days, apparently. Thanks, Informed Gamer. Love it. Thanks, Game Hero. And could have been better. All games. Well, what do you know, all games? You gave me a 9 out, a nine out of 10 for my like, call of Battlefield. What do you mean? You know nothing. Ridiculous. Great. I don't even think I'll be able to get out of my garage. Because you're in debt so much? Yeah. Well, you never know. Oh, minus $35. Uh, we got the fine. School and simulation is a great combination. Oh, no, and level design seems to be quite important for this type of game. I should have bought those bags of Doritos. I'm guessing. It's funny because he's living in a garage. I assume he's living with his parents. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's a reference to um, how Apple started in a garage. Maybe, yeah. Well, obviously, I would think. Okay. There's no world design and surgery simulations. Spy action game called Steve Fisher. How to spy? We're going to make that right now because I got a spy action game. I got spy. Action. Oops. I remember made a game uh, back then called. Um, All right. I made a game called Surgery Simulation called Don't Worry, I'm a Real Doctor. I'm I guessing remember, it's a game about Doctor Nick from Simpsons. Yes. Uh, we're gonna put this on the. Uh, let's see. Would it be a mature game? It should be. We're gonna put it on the Genesis. See what happens. It's just crazy. Great combo, apparently. Um, I remember. There was, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I made a spy action game back then when I first started playing this game. And it was a reference to Harvey Birdman called uh, The House of Tasteful Men, which is from the first episode of Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. Yes. Uh, he says, uh, BRB. BRB. Okay, we can we'll wait. be right here. There's a Bob. Right, dialogue. And, uh, we're now we're into the stream. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so far we're doing pretty good. Yep, streaming. Another uh, game dev tycoon, another castle streaming game dev tycoon. Another castle, all things nerd. You can go on the website. This is anothercastle.com. Mm -hmm. Right in the link in the bottom right, bottom right, right. of your screen. Uh, you got reviews. You got lit top ten lists. Got news. List. You got news. You got music Mondays, and you always Twitch Tuesdays. And it, on, and, and it and it also you know, covers Twitch, in obviously. and it covers everything. It covers anime, comic books, video games, and everything, movies. Everything, all everything things nerd. in terms of news, reviews, all top ten editorials. Cosplay even, which yeah. is fantastic. Oh, oh my god, I'm gonna be rich. Oh my god. Yes. He got yes. you gotta thank him. He got you out of debt, man. Oh. Awesome, awesome. Versus Bob, thank you so much. You've gotten me out of debt oh, in this oh. game. Oh, oh not a perfect nine. ten, but don't worry, I'm a real doctor. I've got a ten, 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 and a nine. Obviously you're gonna get me out of debt. Steve thank Fisher, you so much, Versus Bob. You are a genius when it comes to titles. Obviously, it was the, purely the title yeah. that did it. Because All right, here we go. Set it the How to Spy. Action game, really good. Ten. Uh, ten, my new favorite. More, please. Game hero. Oh, thanks. That's... Oh, and they're focused on game graphics. Serve this game very 50K well. 50k units sold. He's back. Oh, 100k. Yeah. Versus Bob. In case you didn't know. Thank you, because... You've got my oh, company. cult status. A new standard for the uh, game yeah. industry. Thanks to your title. Don't worry, I'm a real doctor. Surgeon Sim, thank you so much. Yep, so that means you can stay alive. Moon Hard Games, not yet. I'll move out whenever I feel like it. Okay. So Don't Worry, don't worry I'm a Real Doctor has been successful. Hooray. So, thank All you, right. Bob. Uh, Steve Don't Fisher. thumbs up. Alright, send this uh, oh, center on vacation. Uh, Steve Fisher, the newest game by another castle has caused a storm of good reviews and exciting customers. Excellent. Industry professionals say that Steve Fisher, How to Spy is one of the, these rare games that will set a new standard quality or new quality standard for future games. Game. He says another castle really has made gaming history. Steve Fisher, How to Spy. Well done. Don't worry, my real doctor got a 9.5 in total. That's great. On the PC. That's fantastic. All right, we're gonna train. Oh no, G64 went bankrupt. Oh, oh well. The Gova door. Sorry. Well, what can you do? 
Surgeon, <laughs> uh, surgeon and uh, surgery and simulation is a great combination. And engine is quite important for this game, which I put all the time into to the engine. So, uh, all right, how, wh what's our game history, real quick? Okay, so we started off from we start from the bottom, and now we're, uh, now we're moderately in the middle. Yeah. We're not on um, top. Okay, Sh Shinobi, 6.5. Superman, 6.25. Doctor Who, 7. Wasteland, 4.5. Karate Champ, 5.5. 5, 5.75, fair. It's a fair um, rating. Fallen 1, Have a Nice Fall, 7.1. Call Up Battlefield, How to Fly, 9.75. Uh, Justin Stever, How to Drink, 4. Fallen 2, Come Back from Fall, 6.75. School, Hello Children, 7.25. And Steve Fisher, How to Spy, 9.75. That is awesome. Okay. Now, we're going to make a uh, new engine. We're going to make custom game engines. Sea Fish How to Spy is now off the market. Oh, well. Yeah, and also there, uh, there is also in the quarter um, the what is popular, what is new. Um, and it's new topics, so stuff that hasn't been tried before is, like, popular right now. And if you do that during the time when it's popular, you will sell more copies that way. And I think you'll get more hype. I'm not sure about rating though. Whenever you get an airplane topic, make an airplane sim call always stop in to Detroit. Yes. Uh, okay, so we got Let's actually games try that. I'm gonna better try user to experience, find that simple cutscenes, better dialogue, level editor, open world, and mono sound. Can we actually research that right now? Yes, we can do that in the future. Okay. What do we have for custom engine? Uh, linear story. We're going to make a custom engine right now. We're going to call it the. Uh, serious engine. Well, actually, no. We shouldn't call it that until after we get 3D graphics. All right, we're gonna so we're gonna call this one the the another castle engine, or as close as we can. Well, we're gonna put that as all one word then. There. That's the only martial way. arts game. There. Create that engine. The another castle engine. Oh, I've got a You're now creating your own custom engine. That. Once the engine is finished, you will be able to use it when creating new games. Hooray! That's great. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, 2D graphics version two, not version oh. one. So even better. Uh, your new game engine, another castle engine, is now complete. Congratulations! Your first custom game engine is now ready. You should use it in your next game, and we will. The game engine, the another castle engine. All right, we're gonna make this a. I don't know what I was gonna say. All right, what does the chat yes, move out? What does the chat say? The chat is saying up. See, always stopping is absolutely not making fun of non-stop. Ah. <laughs> okay. We're going to make a... Uh, do I have an airplane topic? No. We're going to make a... What are the other game ideas he had? I can't remember. Um, okay, so we're going we're gonna to just try one. Uh, mystery. As a genre... Hmm. Action game. Platform. For the Genesis. Now we're going to call this game. It's mature. We're going to call this one. Who done it? <laughs> uh, 2D graphics version 2. I'm going to make a martial arts. No wait. What do I have on here? I don't uh, have a spy. In your story and a save Shoot. game. There we go. Uh, let's see. I don't have airplane sims yet. But, uh, Make a werewolf game called Wolf Among Us. Today, Nintendo yes, announced the much-anticipated successor to the popular NES console. This is the greatest console we've ever built. It comes with the state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics and sound. It is simply super, and that's why we call it the Super NES. We're going to make it Wolf Among Us. Is it E for everyone? It's yeah, mature. It's mature. I know. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems it will not be disappointed. All we're right. going to make it, it text-based. Yeah, I would Straight say up. Oh um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna change that name. Do it. Yep. Call it. Who do did? Who uh, who do who's did? Oh, story straight up. Um, that that seems basic, right? I don't know how this is gonna be. I'm probably gonna screw up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's some okay. Oh man, this is gonna be really oh, bad. Oh, I have to complete staff management training. Forgot about that. I don't know how we're gonna release this game. Look at look at that. I think this is gonna be one of one of the worst Stop. because it's like so yeah. low in terms of technology and design. We call the title of the game. Uh, what's it called? Who dude? What's the other one? Uh, who dude? Ah, Wolf go. Among Us, Harry People. Perfect. 
Like who, dude? Long-haired, freaky people. From that, you get it? Like the one song? Yeah, who's dude? Who's dead? Due to salary increase, the following staffs have earned a raise. Ah, uh, great. That's fantastic. Today, a new game platform, uh, new game platform, Super NES has been, by Nintendo has been released. Great. We're calling it First views for Who Dude, Who who Dude, Who's Dead came in. Oh, man. Uninspiring. It's a waste of money. Boring and not much fun. Well, time to generate that game report. Seems that the market is normalizing game with no particular strong trends at the moment. I like it. Six, I like it. Um, falls a bit falls short. Falls a bit short. Five. That's falls fine. A bit short. Five fun at stages. Okay, fair enough. Our post Five release analysis of who dude bad. who's did um, is complete. We got the following results: mystery and action is a terrible combination. Uh, level design seems Tell to be very important for this type of game. Tell yeah. that to anyone. Well. Oh, no, that's Detective. Mew 100. Whoops. Well, hey, he's back. Oh, yeah. Fury um, Emblem has returned. Platform genre match. Action and the Sega Genesis. Great. And platform audience match. Mature and Sega Genesis. Good. Oh, I don't know what I did wrong, then. Well, neither do I. I don't know what happened. All right. Neither. Okay, we're going to research um, better user experience. We're also going to research better dialogues. Can we research anything else? And a level editor. And we'll make Shadow Sprint. Or something. So we're researching good stuff. You've just researched your first engine part. Be able to use this in, when you be to be able to use this in your games, you need to create a new engine which includes this part. Darn. Okay. Alright. All right, let's see. Let's um. Well, we can't train anybody. Uh, all right. We're gonna find some contract work. We're gonna set up computers. Mu one hundred for a mom. Yes. Mu one hundred for mom. MMO. Oh. MMO. Oh, okay. I was like for a mom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Medieval action caught mounted and stat genius. Yep. That's good. Alright. Thank you for taking care of us. We'll charge for 21000 to your account. Debug the program. The meeting is a buzz with the latest news from this year's, year's entertainment conference. Um, EC. Uh, in a surprise announcement, Sony, a company known for general electronics, has presented a prototype Let's called the, the PlayStation. Position. Apparently, Sony has collaborated with Nintendo, creators of the beloved and successful NES and Super NES console development. What is basically a Super NES with a CD drive? This would be the world's first console using a CD drive. No, it's not. No, I noticed they don't have other consoles such as the. Uh, Do they have Sega the CD? 3DO. Sega CD. 3DO. They don't have the Sega CD or anything. Uh, Tar Jaguar CD. No, no, no Tar Jaguar. I don't know. I don't think anyway. Uh, Nintendo announced today they will cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Rumor has it a distribution deal the company had worked out was unfavorable to Nintendo, handling over much the of the control one. to Sony. Medium this seems to be the end of the PlayStation. Well, uh, well I mean... Let's find some contract work. Let's do it. Vina has announced it released the, new, the Vina <clears throat> Oasis. Alright, we send this guy on vacation. I didn't even get that far yet. Oh, my phone vibrated. What is huh. it? Oh. Okay, that's cool. Well, my other employee is not helping me at all. Too much savings will be taken off the market. Thanks for not assisting. Darn. Yep. Hey, mystery game called Autocorrect did it. Let's try that, actually. Do I have mystery? We're going to call it Medieval Action. Okay. Is that what you're making? Uh, no, I'm making a martial arts game called Ally Fighter Get Shanked. Oh, yeah, I have martial arts, and yeah. And we're gonna call it Mounted and Stabbed. All right, I'm calling my game that. We're gonna put it on the Super Nintendo. Boom. Alright, so Ally. Right. Awesome. Fire. Mounted and Stabbed, here we go. Engine, straight up. Gameplay, straight up. Oh, man, I'm spelling much. everything wrong today. God, Brandon, seriously. Get your head in the cane. 
All right. Martial arts get action. Call it alley fighter. Get shanked. Alley fighter. Get shanked. Yep. That's I'm call. I called it that. Okay. Uh yeah, it's good. Uh, story non-existent. No linear story. No save game either. Actually, that's important to the engine. So yes. Hopefully, my new employee is not really doing a good job because he's just sitting there and not helping. Well, he's barely useless. applying anything. Fire him. No, I'm just kidding. I guess it wasn't that bad. All right, basic sounds. Yep, graphics are fine. World design is good. And all right, well, here we go. Oh man, this actually might be really good. This looks pretty awesome. Super Nintendo's all exploited. You released two games and earned a total of 187,000. Well, it seems that quite a few players use illegal copies of Who Dude Who's Dead. I've managed to identify some of them. Could we could sue either sue them or to defend our copyright or send them one each to stop. What do you want to do? Uh, warn them. Right away. Dish. Alright, mount mounted and stabbed. Let's, let's see if this is gonna work. It better be. Better, better be good. I got a bunch of level. I got level ups uh, when it came to my experience. So I got level ups in uh, engine gameplay, level design, artificial intelligence, sound. Now the castle has recently set warnings to several players using legal copies of the game. Who, dude, who's dead? Um, piracy is an increasing problem in the industry. Some companies invest a lot of money and effort to fight piracy, while others argue that it's better to get take off the soapbox. <laughs> Well, they are making a good point. Um, it's better to yeah, make a more, take a more relaxed approach and invest in better games instead. We gained 285 fans. It's like basically what we said for the our Not couple of soapbox. No, um, could have been better. All right, so mounted and stabbed. What it has Quirky in conclusion? Good. It's got eight. Played it for days. Eight. Very enjoyable. Seven. Nice experience. And seven. Beautiful. Yeah, I have a six, six, so seven, seven. So we're doing something good. We're doing something right. All right. Let's generate the game report for that. Wait, before you before you start being like, I want to go on vacation. Yeah. Um, you do some coding complete. Uh, this guy, he's like kind of involved with uh design. So let's do game design for pirates. All right. Well, we got first got a wait a minute. Hold on. We got to research. Generate game report on mounted and staff. Seven point cool. five in total. If an employee takes a sip of coffee a lot, they're probably bad. Yeah. Yeah. Should probably fire them all. <laughs> Just go solo again. We're not really a big fans of coffee drinkers. Guys writing down notes. It's good, right? Yeah. Essentially, this is what the big uh, meat of the game is. Just seeing this. You do unlock other sections of the game to for other things. Um, and that's pretty awesome, but... Um, so, so far, action is a good combination. Engine seems to be very appropriate for this type of game, and PC good. So no vacation. Uh, Dino Wadi is still new to a few more games, and the team will have higher potential. Okay, so he's still kind of new. So I'm gonna get a guy. Did you train him more? Technology. I should. You really should. That's probably why he sucks so much. I'm just saying. All right. Yep, Ally Fighter no is now off. No one north. I wish. Hard action. Call it. Get the booty. Own the gold. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, okay. I don't know if I have a pirate game. I'm going to yeah. check. All right, so. Do I have a pirate game? Train. No, I don't. That fucking mean train. All right, but for right now, we're going to make, make that game a uh, mystery game. It's a mystery adventure don't game. Don't repeat yourself. For the Mountain Super Nintendo. Mountain Stad is not off the market. It wasn't, you know. With the end of the castle engine. Uh, we I tried to make it successful. We call this one autocorrect. Uh, is, uh, that's a good one. Alright, there we go. Autocorrect did it. Let's go nuts. Alright. Um, adventure story is kind of important. Engine, not really, I don't think. Gameplay is, like, really important, I think, for that. Uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily sure, but I'm, I'm just experimenting here. Uh, linear story. Okay, go. Eh, it's not bad. All right, here we go. Uh, dialogue important. Artificial intelligence not really important. Level design, I think, is very important. All right, well, dialogue is kind of semi-important. All right, here we go and go. All right. Oh man, we're actually doing pretty good here. Um, basic sound, lower that down. World design is kind of meh. All right, and go. 
We have I have seven thousand uh, fans. You have three thousand. That's sad. I'm trying my best. Uh, it can't be as good as another castle. Well, that's because we're automatically awesome. Because just the name is just fantastic. All right, here we go. Release the game for the first reviews for new this game. Autocorrect did it. Came in. All right, here we go. Mystery and adventure is a great combination. Uh, adventure games work well on the Super Nintendo and very enjoyable and and enjoyable. So it's all right. Okay. Generate the game report for that. Uh, research. I need more stuff for the engine coming up. So, but let's research medium gauge now. There's a train going by. Yes, there is. All right, we're gonna spend 200k. Simple cuts for a show me. Good, perfect. Fall on three. Welcome to Fall Vegas. Yep. I'll make that next. I'm gonna make a uh, theme park. Mystery scenario. Adventure is a great combination. Engine seems to be Whoa. not very important for this type of game, and the audience is good. That ain't bad. So Hi, Jennifer. I have followed yeah. the progress of another cast for a while, and it seems that with your recent expansion, you have started developing later larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people, and this is where a publisher can come in handy. A publisher will market and publish your game around the world. They will also help fund development. In return, they keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more than and more, it is usually still worth it. I can put you in touch with some publishers so you can look at the available contracts. Let me know. Jasmine Drunk. Buying publishing contract has been unlocked. It is accessible in the action menu. We're gonna do that. I added three people on my team. I think I'm gonna screw Yeah, you up. have way too many people. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I have way too many people right now. Yeah, you you, you bit off more than you can chew, I Probably think. Probably I did. Okay. Whoops. Alright, let's see here. I just burped too. Stop sniff yeah, stop sipping your coffee, Nolan Fox. Coffee, Nolan Fox. I got June Reed, June of the Castle. We have followed your progress in recent years, and we'd like Freya. to extend this um, in Game Invitation to uh, participate in the biggest game yes, convention yes, yes. in the plant on the planet. Games, games, yeah. games, also known as G3. We'll just call it E3 to make it simpler. By having your own company booth at E3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games, and we think our audience would love to see you there. We'll what topics? You earn yearly uh, with booth options. Brad, what topics we'll do you have? There. E3 community. Um, what topics? For me, for my topics, I have space comedy. Horror, post-apocalyptic, ninja, mm -hmm. life, medieval, sci-fi, wild west, racing, evolution, surgery, pirate, hacking. Can I make watchdogs better? <laughs> Werewolf, martial arts, and vampire. Let's make watchdogs. All right, here's the topics I have. Watch UFO, Joe. ninja, what mystery, school, Watch evolution, Joe. superheroes, post-apocalyptic. Call it a uh, it's an action game, right? Yeah, it kind of is. Uh, uh, time kinda, travel, kinda government, zombies, like, vocabulary, uh, martial arts, dungeon, law, oh, wait, the military, the and spy. Shoot. All right, well, we're going to call it watchdogs. All right, so gonna hmm. I'll make another call at Battlefield. Sure. Thank Oops. You. Battle. All right. Field. Make a watchdog. What should we? What should we give the subtitle for Call of Battlefield? Call of Battlefield for this uh, one. For this game of Call of Battlefield. Yeah, for this one. Hmm. Not sure. Hmm. Let's see. Chat, what can you think of for this subtitle? For a subtitle for Call of Battlefield. Yeah. Oh, you put this underscore in there on there. Yeah, I too. did. God damn, I'm clever. Sweat. I'm just joking on that. Alright, well, for now, while we wait, we make an action game. We're gonna make it a medium game. It's mature for the PC, as always. Get another castle edge. Go up to the chat and see what the one guy, uh, uh, other name for Call of Battlefield was. Uh, let's see. It was Call of Battlefield. How to Revive. Okay. Yes. Call it that. Revive. Next. Go. Oh, God. I think we messed up. Why? Autocorrect is now off the market. Oh, good. Just in yes. time, too. Creating larger games is a significant task well, and I mean, unlike the small games. And how much you want to one person time. cannot effectively be responsible for every aspect of a game. To create a good game and to make best use of your team, you will have to ass oh, excuse me, assign which uh, which of your team is responsible for which areas. 
pick team members whose skill really match the area to get the best results. When you assign a team member responsibilities, you will Good see their design. workload. You have to overload them too much. Okay. Oh my. So we get the oh, idea of oh, dragging the staff. Good. I think oh, I think engine is important for attack. Um, gameplay lower that down. Here's what I got for uh, here's what I got for Watchdog. I got a six, 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 and uh, five. five. <laughs> Sounds about hey. right for Watchdog. Yeah, it does, especially in real life. Um, All right. Let's see, uh, he kind of has everything. So, All right. So for artificial intelligence, I would think that is a design two. thing. Uh, technology definitely is up there. Make me think. Actually, let's put let's put um. We need to find project which is in there. Formula which is the biggest convention. Blah blah blah. E three. E three. All right, go. E three. It's all it is. It's just about E three, yeah. Such a. I'm not gonna call it the spoof names because then it's just stupid. Yeah, it's it's just silly. Yes. Okay. So far, this is you know, starting out well. Um. Okay, let's see. Graphics. I gotta train myself. Let's too. put Gen there. That. Sound is important. Coding complete. Let's try that. Is that technology wise? I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna put for sound and tech. Yes. Just like another castle, we are, uh, for your games, we are also doing a stream. Another castle. Oops. Hold on. This is anothercastle.com, right in the corner. Go there if you have time. Check it out. But while you're watching the stream, check out the website. Okay, Brian Hardy can do this. Okay, Brian topics. Hardy can do both those things. Read some uh, interviews, or some articles, reviews. Uh, pretty sure there's interviews on there too, as well, isn't there? There is. Yep. And uh, there's uh, lists for Netflix films. Yep. Uh, pretty those much. Those are all those are really nerd. popular. You know, articles about all things nerd, pretty much. Yeah, essentially. It's a great website. Um, okay, here we go. We're gonna just go. We're gonna go a little small and just say small boom, because we don't want to overshoot it and be like, you know. All right, so we call it Battlefield. How to revive? Release the game. Oh, Agent Blowfish again. This is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information, blah, 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 like what they did. Yes, let's see research money. Thank you for your research vision. You've successfully, uh, successfully researched space. There. The first reviews for the game, Call Battlefield, How to Revive, came in. Oh, man. It's like Battlefield 4 all over again with the multiplayer. It was, like, really buggy. Yeah, fun at stages. Has moments good game and shows potential. Yeah. It's meh. We tried. And we failed. Generate that game report so we can figure out what we did wrong. I personally blame our staff arrangement. Uh, okay. Tech. Uh, let's research a new topic. Airplane. Do you have an airplane simulator, Spencer? Uh, no, I do not. Your YouTube channel time? Uh, YouTube channel time. Um... For us, for our streams, um, usually, how long do they, how does it take in order to get them? For, for it to go up on? Yeah, to go up on. Uh, I think the next day or somewhere later this week. I'm not very certain. Yes, but if you follow another castle on YouTube and their Twitter, uh, you will know. Yeah, you know. and follow them on Facebook. Yes, and follow them on Facebook as well. Yeah, it's a new like guy. them on Facebook. Miles. Miles DRK. Miles Dirk. Is it Dirk? I like to think it is. But I'm gonna say Miles DRK. Um, yeah. Let's hey. call him Miles. Hey Miles. What's up, Miles? Welcome. Welcome. Play like Game Dev Tycoon. You know the castle. Game yeah. Dev Tycoon. Yeah. Sony castle. has announced. Com. Represent. Um, has announced their very own console the called the PlayStation. Apparently, the company What's called the and completely reworked their earlier PlayStation prototype after Nintendo canceled the project. The new PlayStation comes with a CD-ROM drive and 32-bit processors and is wholly owned by Sony. Industry Send professionals say that this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. Nintendo declined to comment. The PlayStation will enter the market in two months. So we're in the PlayStation. Wow. Now. It's amazing. Um, oh, yeah, we got sequels now. Yeah, usually if you want to get to know about another castle stuff, like you want to know what videos they're going to put in, you know? Oh, oh Drift Racing, Racing King, DRK. Okay. Oh. All right. That makes a... Uh, it's rich. Uh, I guess you like the... Uh, Do you ever watch uh, Initial D? Had a lot of drifting in that. Yeah, anime. Initial D did have a lot of drifting in that yep. anime for some reason. It was amazing. I remember we watched the English dub and we're like, it's not bad. Initial D's not bad. Um, 
I mean, it could be worse. That's the thing. Yeah. And a lot of it is they do a lot of, like, car talk in this. Thing. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put game tutorials into the engine. Um, we can also research sequels, which we need 20 research points to, which we should do contract work in order to get it. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, PlayStation game. research. Uh, let's see. Hmm, medium Contact games. Characters. What kind of topics can I get? Okay, medium games it is. Yep. She knows the market responds particularly well to games with new topics money. at the moment. <laughs> okay. Why? What's going on? No, I was gonna make a joke about an airplane game, but uh, I think it'd be bad taste. Um, okay. All right, let's uh, create a custom engine. Do we have any more stuff? Simple cutscenes, game tutorial, better user experience, better dialogue, level editor. We're gonna call this the. We're gonna call this engine the Serious Duke Engine. <laughs> there. Oh, I spelled engine wrong. Well, I didn't even make any. I made. Uh, I'm gonna make the Serious Duke engine. engine. Serious Duke Engine, really? Yep. Alright, it's now off the market. It was pretty meh. And no, like I was saying, um, it's better to, uh, if you want to know, chances are the best time for, because I'm just a guest. I'm a, yeah, I'm just a guest. I'm, I'm, I'm the actual host. I'm not of really this. behind the scenes with another castle. Yeah. Oh, our I Facebook can, name. What is our Facebook name, Brandon? Another castle. Another castle. Another castle. I think it has an underscore in it, I think. Probably. Let's find out. Shall uh, we? A, uh, yeah, give it, give, it a, give it a check, real quick. Yes, I will check. Why don't you check now? You're on your Twitter for some reason. Uh, yeah, I'm on my Twitter right now, but I'm gonna see if they have a link on Facebook. No, they don't. Shoot, serious? Okay. Oh well. Uh, serious Duke engine is now complete. I have no idea because I'm not behind the scenes. But I will find out. And I'll, let, I'll definitely just search it right now. You know. don't, don't try to explain it. Just search it. Yes. Uh, I think it's just Facebook called. name is www.facebook.com slash this is this is another castle another cat wait it says this is the other castle oh okay so it's facebook.com slash this is the other castle okay. all one word. but there we are called another castle but we're called just another castle you can uh, go oh, like okay. them on facebook and uh, research always catch up nothing yet let's not research uh go on vacation and they, and they give the channel to youtube link in their recent post about twitch tuesday yeah uh, the YouTube user is AC Another Cast. There you go. Boom. So there you go. There you go, uh, uh, Firo11. So you know now that you know their new YouTube channel. So uh, you can subscribe to yeah. YouTube at uh, youtube.com slash users slash AC Another Castle. Yeah, all one word. All one word for AC Another Castle. Okay. Train. Oh, wait. Why did I use those research points? I and when you like them on Facebook, you'll definitely oh, know okay. what, like articles and such. You definitely yeah. get to keep up to date with what they release. Yeah. Which is really... They put, they put some funny images up there. No problem, viewers. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. Time to develop a new game. No. No, I can't do that. Okay. We gotta pick a topic. Alright. Let's see. Action. Make a new What's game. Young? What's it young? Oh, no. Medium game. Mature. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Mature space. No, wait. Let's see. Hmm. All right, we're gonna make a. I want to keep. I want to. I want. I don't want to make a sequel to the Fallen games yet. I'm right, gonna space game, and we're gonna call it. Uh, one small step for go. man. And it will be a simulation game, on the PC, with the serious Duke engine. That's right, the Serious Duke engine. I want to see if it will actually work for this new engine. I hope so. Hey, anyway, one small step for man. Uh, gameplay, important engine, kind of important story. Gameplay tools, better user experience. Okay. All right, let's see. What kind of games do we play? Uh, well, Miles, the games we play, it's uh, pretty much just... Uh, Any game that you know, we whatever, think is... We, whatever we think is... Uh, Obviously, Good. something that's going to be interacting, you know, yeah. like you can play for hours. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, Probably like, going to be some like, RPGs. Like, so far, we've played uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Yeah, we played Left 4 Dead 2. We've uh, played Bro Force. Bro Force. Uh, we've played Infestation Survivor Stories. Infestation Survivor Stories. Uh, we've also played um, Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2. Uh, action RPG, you know. So um, anything that pretty and much... And Defiance, we've done Defiance. And Defiance. So pretty much anything that you can play for hours on end without mm. having to stop. Oh, we're hyping it up no. by accident. Okay. Uh, artificial intelligence is really important. Dialogue's not very important. Level editor, yes. Um, yes. That seems to be pretty good for the staff. Okay. I'm making Shinobi Gaiden. Get it? Because Ninja Gaiden. Oh, I get Shinobi. it. Matt, that's pretty funny. In two months, the second game year will be taken off the market. Oh, well. We tried. All right. Sound. World design, I think, is important. Okay. Let's do it this way. Like, let's try that. We're making the space simulation game one small step for man. Uh, let's try it. Let's 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 go the extra mile and have the medium booth. Oh man, I just wasted a lot I got of money bugs. on that. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh, I agree. I was in oh, the danger man. zone. I was in the highway to the danger zone. I just got bailed out. Let's finish the game. All right, come on, Shinobi Gaiden. I'm almost gonna be close to bankrupt. All right, there. I'm Boom. almost Hype bankrupt enough. soon. I better not lose. Release the game. Let them be. Apparently, already there one small fans. step for man and call of battlefield. How to revive is on the bottom. Let's do this. Come on. Oh, seven. Okay, that ain't bad. Seven's good. All right, what's next? An eight. We had 79,000 people visiting our booth this year. We didn't make it in the top 100 booths this year. Once we gain more fans, I'm sure we will. A we seven. Increase the following staff for our and, new and, and a oh, we got new. We got new research available. We got multiplayer, okay. character progression, better AI, 2D graphics version three, and 3D graphics version one. Sweet. Second game is no longer supported. The first reviews for our new release game, One Small Step for Man, came in. Oh man, that's not. Can't wait for the sequel. Apparently, uh, great. It's great. Uh, Miles says sounds good. Yep, sounds really good. It is. Make sure you uh, subscribe to the Twitch channel. Yeah, follow, so follow them on Twitch. Follow, the, follow. Is it follow? Hey, follow them on oh, Twitch. Follow on Twitch, like Twitter, yeah. So you know uh, what games we're gonna play. Definitely. We're, we usually think of the games beforehand. Yeah. Um, and we announce it on the Facebook page. And on the Facebook page, we announce what game we're going to be playing in right. like a couple of hours. Yeah, or later later in the week. Like we said, I'll mention it on Monday or Tuesday. Exactly. Early, early exactly. afternoon Tuesday or something. One small step for man. It's getting really popular. Okay, let's research sequels. Finally, we can make Fallout sequels now. Another memorable game by another castle has been released. I've rarely seen such a responsive game controls. True joy to play. Rarely will a game captivate you such as one small step for man. Thanks, Julian Rickstall from Gamer Pro. Alright, generate the game report. And research more stuff. Oh man. Um okay, let's get 3D graphics so we can actually make 3D looking games now, which will be fantastic. All right, so far so good. Uh, send her on vacation. Oh, you're actually safe. Yes, I am actually in the safe zone now. Space and simulation is great. Dialogue seems not important for this type of game. And uh, simulation PC good. Everyone PC good. Should have been for young people maybe. I don't know. I follow. Thanks, Miles. Thanks, Miles. Okay. Train Always this checking guy. on Tuesdays. Yeah. Every Tuesday. Twitch Tuesday. Every Twitch every Tuesday. Tuesday. That's right? why it's called Twitch Tuesday. Exactly. Um, this is another castle.com, all things nerd. Or another, oh, another castle. Another all castle. Nerd. All things nerd. Go on there. This is another castle.com. Oh, I'm gonna train Jen. I'm sorry I get the name wrong sometimes. Yeah. Alright. Small booth. Don't wanna be, you know, spending too much money. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna we're gonna see what we did wrong. What did you do wrong? I don't know. Let's select Watchdog. What did I do wrong with Watchdog? What? I, I got an email on my phone for apparently from I think GameSpot or GameStop, one of the two. Hey, what'd they say? GameSpot. Uh, latest news for Max Payne 3? Yeah. I'm checking yeah. that out right now. That's weird. Well, it's... Uh... GameSpot, your daily update. Uh, what is it? Is this oh! What? Hold on, wait. Max Payne 3, PS3 and Vita 2 for one sale offers Metal Gear Solid GTA bundles for half price. Oh, okay, so it's just a sale that's going on. I, I, I think so. Well, whatever. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, no trend. Uh, trend towards strategy games. All right, let's send this dude on vacation. Forty-eight thousand people came. Plain headless mutant. I think it's a uh, plain headless mutant. Oh yeah, it is. Right. I see. Let's see. You ever speaking of Fallout? You ever get those? Um... Okay, we're gonna develop a sequel for. Oh man, there's a lot actually. All right. We're gonna make a sequel for Karate Champ. No, uh, Wasteland. We gotta make Wasteland Two. We'll make Wasteland sequel. Uh, mature platform, PC. I'm Series definitely two. Definitely gonna research. Wasteland Two, medium game, and go. Train. What else? Uh, more speed. Hi boss, a friend of mine is greatly involved in an organization which aims to get more women into technology. Oh, they are great. looking for a sponsor and I thought it would be a perfect opportunity for us. Would you like to help out? Yes. Sure, why not? See, you're doing better than I am. Alright, um, story, not very important. Engine is very important. Gameplay, better user experience. Yes. Alright, boom. Hopefully Wasteland 2 will be better. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, this is Crypto Rignall from E Gaming Check. I got word that another castle is working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information on your current game project and do an interview about it? Agree. Uh, many of our readers are curious about what decisions go into making a video game and how companies prioritize developmental areas. Your new game is a zombie action game. Can you tell us whether such a game would usually receive more focus on graphic or dialogue? Uh, graphics. Thank you for your time. Get some hype, too. In a recent interview with another castle, we discussed their upcoming zombie action game and asked company founder Jennifer how different development areas are prioritized. In the interview, Jennifer said that graphic is one of is of particular important importance uh, for such a game, and it seems that every Design. other industry potential uh, professional agrees with this. Oh, every game crap. development project. Oh, you're well. Going. My game's over. Yeah, I'm in debt. Uh, there's no way. Don't look at me though. That's your own fault. Yeah, I messed up. There goes Moon Hard Games. We screwed up. Well. Yep. Okay. We have time to pay them back. Oh, do hold on, hold on. Is, is there contracts? Find contract work. Go. Yeah, do law contract work. That's what I do. All right. We've got a word that another castle has recently sponsored a highly praised move to get more women involved into technology. Oh, Jennifer, this is what another castle said. Quote, we would really love, we would love to see more women in the game industry. Let's see. Come on. Spr sprite sheet software. Go down the game. Graphics. I should have been doing um, contract work from the beginning. Ah. Oh. What happened? Unfortunately, you are bankrupt. Sad face. Well, we have confirmation that Moonheart Games and uh, a uh, uh, joke about EA at uh, uh, startle. You can always restart the level. Oops. Nintendo announced their next generation console called the Nintendo NES 64. Well, I messed up. Expected in the coming months is the world's first game console to support 64-bit processors for graphics and audio. I Nintendo said that this will allow never-before-seen 3D realism. In recent years, the Super NES has lost a market share to more modern consoles. Market experts said that the hardware of the NES 64 is surely impressive, but it expressed their surprise that will that still uses ROM cartridges instead of the much cheaper and higher capacity CD-ROM format. Nevertheless, the NES 64 seems like an expensive console, and Nintendo has said that it, it plans to aggressively price it against Sony's PlayStation. Great. Oh, Wasteland 2, this might be fantastic. Wait, hold on. Anything? Boom. Got an extra... Got an extra yeah, design. see, I messed up. Just like I always do when I play... This game? Yeah, when I play Game Dev Tycoon or any Tycoon game. Like, Dude, increase the experience. The following staff have earned a raise. Rollercoaster Tycoon, I've messed up like a million times. I know, you always went in debt in Rollercoaster Tycoon. The first game, not yeah, so much. I mean, the second like, game, all the freaking the time. The first game, it depends on what... Oh, Wasteland 2. Reviews for Wasteland 2. on what game... Like, what level you're on? Mm -hmm. Like, the first level in Rollercoaster Tycoon 1. I, I always, always succeeded in that level. Yeah. I could always beat it, no problem. But in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, no matter the level, I seem to be like a chance of getting a debt or not getting a yeah. debt. It's tough, you know? Okay, um, research. Let's research some uh, new topics. We need more topics. Hacking, so you can make watch dogs. We'll call, call it watch canines. 
No, obser uh, ob uh, observant canines. Another castle has recently released a sequel to their game Wasteland. The newest game in the series titled Wasteland 2 is met with great responses. Critics praised that Wasteland 2 had a newer engine than the original, really driving technical innovation. And that's true. In real life, Wasteland 2 does have more stuff. Yeah. Did you ever play that game? Uh, me? I gave it a shot. Um, character customization's a little weird. Yeah, it was that game that had the uh, Indian... Headdress. Yeah, First Nation headdress. Head, the First Nation headdress. Yeah. Um, it wasn't twenty. Uh, Seven Days to Die. Oh, okay. Seven Days to Die is just something else. Uh, Seven Days to Die is a pretty cool game. It's really simple, it but it's also... Alright, so Moonheart Games is now defunct. We're going to make a new company. We're going to call them... Um, don't look at me. I, I'm, I'm, um, I'm trying to think call it. something music related. Not music related. We're okay. Gonna, we're going to bring Ion Storm back from the dead. Cool. We're gonna try to make them. We had ninety thousand people visiting our boots this year. Than they did in real life. We're gonna have myself as my normal brown hair. Open world. I'm gonna be wearing a sweater whatever. vest. Yes. Ro rocking that sweater vest, man. Right, we're gonna be slot two. Yes, Moonheart Games. You were terrible. You you did your best though. Pick a topic. Which ones do we got? Well, we got sci-fi. Perfect. Action, action game. Action. Perfect. And action. Oh, I remember. No, sci-fi adventure. I remember the first time I played this yeah. game. I made an insanely popular game. It was a sci-fi action mm -hmm. game called Cyclops. Oh yeah. yeah. And it was spelled P S Y Clops, like you know, like psychic, like so, yeah, Cyclops. Um, it's like a pun for psyops, I think. Um. And it was always really popular, and I always kept making sequels for that game, and it was always like, it's okay, or it's super yeah. good. And I kept making it like, God of War tells, like Cyclops Ascension and stuff like that. I was following these uh, footsteps of God of War. So, it was, you know, it was interesting. I should really make a, uh, I should really draw that, uh, the Cyclops. Make it like the one from God of War, uh, God of War with the big horn and the giant eyeball. Okay. All right, let's make a new game. Uh, make another sequel. Here we go. Okay, Fallen Three. Uh, now what was that title? What was that pun title for a fall, a fall, a Fallen Two? We had that. Uh, but what was well, the one? That... Fallout Two, Plain Headless. Mutant. No, but we already made a Fallout Two. Oh, Fallen Three. Welcome to Fall Vegas. Oh, let me see. Where is it? I got right there. Welcome oh. to Fall Vegas. Welcome to Fall Vegas. Medium game. Post walk with action R uh, RPG. Uh, on the so uh, right, PC, let's, let's, let's get the back serious to the game Duke here. engine. Boom. Yeah, uh, okay. Hmm. Alright, uh, engine. Well, let's call this. Uh, I think story is insanely popular with that. Boom. Oh, didn't you used to have a game called that? Close Calls of Meteors? Yeah. No, I did not. Oh, really? I don't think I did. Oh. You can see what my features I remember you had a game called The whoa, Maestro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I went too far. I remember you had a game called The Maestro, which was a series of games you made. And it was like... Ah, oh, what happened? Uh, a very popular series. The game messed up. I remember you made like Maestro 2, you were following the footsteps of Diablo, where it was like, oh, the first one's really good. You gotta like drag it that way. Oh man, wow, what's going on? Oh, oh. oh man, your game's. Oh no, my game is glitching out here. No, toggle full screen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, I don't okay. want to tell you. The Smash will be taken off the market. I don't know anymore. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, marketing can be very effective to reach again. more potential customers, again. Hold on. but it can be very expensive too. It is best to experiment carefully with marketing to get a feel for what works best. Because don't invest too much. Out, remember that timing is important. Oops. Don't invest in your marketing efforts too early in development or too late. It is also important to know that no matter how much money can pump into, you can pump into marketing, uh, it will not make a bad game successful. So, on the contrary, it can even hurt to market bad games too much as it can upset your existing fan base. Let's do uh, magazine and demos. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Load. Uh, Ion Storm. Alright. Lower down the sound. Here we go. 
Graphics. Oh man. A big sci-fi. Jen, Jen's Bench. having some problems. What's wrong with oh, her? Oh, because she was getting like into the red. Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna. We're, that's. I think that's good. Do it like that. All right. Oh man, look at that design though. There's so much design. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. All right. Boom. Look at hype 41, man. All right, here we go. Well design has been leveled up. All right, releasing the game. New research available, day and night cycle. Let's research. Let's think, let's think here. Multiplayer. We need that for a Call of Battlefield. Let's get a title up going for the sci-fi adventure. They like to think. Uh, we're gonna call if, anyone, if anyone on the chat has a good uh, Actually, idea. I'm gonna call it Little Effect. All right, good idea. There we go. All right, Ooh, new game. Fallen awesome. 3, welcome to Fall Vegas. Great game. Uh, RPGs work well on the PC. Excellent. Very good. Very good, yeah. And outstanding game. Fantastic. We're doing really well. I had to restart a game, and I made Ion Storm again. Oh, that's fantastic. Yep. Uh, I'm going to guess... Uh, like, good for you. There. Dialogue maybe up there. Yeah, that, that, let's say that. I don't know. Hmm. Let's see. If you're not a fan of another castle now, then chances are you will be after playing their latest hits, Fallen 3, Welcome to Fall Vex. Perfect example on how dialogue in a game just like how you'd be a fan can be of so castle. much more thrilling than a, in a movie or book. At every stage, I felt like I had really had choices and was driving the story. Rarely will a game captivate you as much as Fallen 3, Welcome to Fall Just like Vex. you'd be a fan of another castle with the articles in real life. In real life. You, you just had to segue into that. Yes, I had to segue into that. Go check articles at www.thisanothercastle.com. Articles, you got reviews, great reviews. Another Castle, uh, all things nerd. Games that you could definitely check out. Another Castle, all things nerd. Like them on Facebook, follow them on Twitter, follow them on Subscribe Twitch. to them on YouTube. Subscribe to them on YouTube. You know? It's fantastic. All, all that glorious stuff. You can go to the YouTube at, uh, I believe, AC and the Castle. Yep. Um, yeah, AC Another Castle. Yep. That's their username. Mm -hmm. Their username link, anyway. Yes. All right, so let's train the... Let's yes, train. it's AC Another Castle is their username. Oh. At youtube.com slash user slash AC Another Castle. All right, so, so let's train. Uh, let's train for a game dev gem. Excellent. Release game. Little effect better not have messed up by now. Oh, here we go. First review for Little Effect came in. We've got a 10. <laughs> oh, a, a, nine. Oh, a 9. Oh, a nine. Well wait. done. High five. Uh, let's see. Enjoyable. Medium Eiffel Tower. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, yes, eight. Eiffel Tower. Uh, they, they're focused on dialogue, serve this game very well. Good, and good. 8 Adventure Games. Work Dearest well Sir, this. man, I am a fin I, uh, I'm financial advisor to You're CEO to at Wamobia Oil Limited in Nigeria. I cracked my... Finger by mistake. Uh, I'm writing because I know of your high repute and trustworthiness. Our CEO has authorized me to invest 2.5 million in Antore Castle. We have deposited the amount at a safe bank and will transfer this money to you, but the bank requires confirmation from you. If you wish to receive the funds, you must transfer a one time verification payment of 120k. I trust in you. Decline. What was the problem? That was the uh, that Nigeria thingy. You got it? Nigerian prince joke. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Fall I, I 3, was, Welcome to yeah. Fall Vegas is now off the market, but it was really good. Yeah, because I sold that during the popular genre. Ah. So that's how we made lots yeah, of money. Yeah, I didn't think of that. All right, we're going we're gonna to get another person in this group. We're going to gonna put in 500,000 for wow. game demo. Let's start looking. 510,000, but whatever. 10K units. So. Yay. All right, now before we end the stream, because it's ten, we should hit ten. Oh yes. Before we end the stream, uh, we're gonna finish it off on a high note, hopefully, of making one more sequel. Boss, our office would really like to do some renovation work, and our computer systems are all side dead. Investing a little bit more in my office and great upgrade and upgrade computers would be great. Yes, let's invest. We'll fix and this is what our office looks like now. Perfect way to end it too. We looked. Yes, it looks fantastic. Got the new office. 
too. Okay. Um, Alan Lone, well, Melissa Keller, Patrick Guzman, and Kyle Goma. I have finished playing my game of Game Dev Tycoon. Okay, we have Patrick Guzman. And I've messed out. Do you know the cast lot. Since, since, since lot, E3 has so. become the biggest meetup of game developers every year, we have decided to use our name for the greater good. Starting today, we offer different game development challenges throughout the year where game devs from all around the world can compete with each other. This will be a great way for game developers to learn something new. You are welcome to join in at any time. And there are no prizes, but it should be a great way to increase everyone's skills to the G3 community. Let's... Wait, can I send this person on vacation? I can't for some reason. It appears that recently a few companies have fallen victim to Nigerian scammers. These scammers often claim to invest large sums of money into companies that require a sizable upfront payment to make the mm -hmm, deal. Mm -hmm. Those who are unwise enough to pay will not see their money again. Police are investigating but seem helpless to stop these, these international scam curses. Those scammers, how dare they try to scam people so obviously. I know. So here's the summary of what happened in my game, Dev Type. Okay. The day Sega fans have waited a long time for has, has arrived. As Sega has announced their next generation console, the Dreamcast, a company spokesperson said, quote, The Dreamcast is a dream come true. This console is the most advanced gaming console in history. The new console sports powerful graphics hardware, promising graphic quality, rivaling those on high-end PCs. The Dreamcast is also the first console to ship with a modem out of the box, making it ready for online play. The console will be available early next year. Fantastic. All right. Here's what happened in my game, Death Tycoon game, all right? Let's hear it. I made Moonhard Games, which is a, a spoof name of um, Sunsoft. Get it? Moonhard. Ah. Moon, opposite of sun. Well done, Hard, sir. Opposite of soft. So here we go. Uh, it was so far, it was like, yeah, I've been developing, you know, uh, pretty good game so far. And then as soon as I got the new office, everything just went downhill straight up because... The problem was, was that I forgot, I wasn't paying attention to how much money I had, and I forgot that you need, I, I hired, I think I hired too many employees, I hired like three, right, we're gonna make the serious engine. should have taken it slow, from, but I did from not Crow do Team, that, that from was a Crow big Team, mistake. Uh, from Crow Team, we're making the serious engine, and we're gonna make serious sand. We're gonna end it with serious sand. Alright, excellent. We, we're, we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I'm sounding like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen. New engine. Serious engine. Okay, here we go. Develop new game. Medium. Mature. It is a... What What would you think that is? A time travel game? But it's not really a time travel game. I would say it's, it's more of a military action game. Because you get to shoot stuff. Uh, it was on PC. The Serious engine. Let me look just one more time. Uh, no, yeah, no. I don't have sci-fi. It's not really sci-fi-ish. So, okay, here we go. Serious Sam. Make it on 3D graphics. Here we go. We're doing it. We're making Serious Sam. We're going to end it on this. Engine. Story and quest, not very important. Multiplayer, there was multiplayer and save games. Linear story, yeah, and simple cutscenes. It did, you know, Serious Sam did have simple cutscenes. Alright, let's put... Uh, we're going to put Patrick Guzman uh, later on. Here, here we go. Speaking of Serious Sam, I should really give that game... I should play Second Encounter. Yes, yeah, Serious Sam or is Fall a really 3. good series. And you reviewed huh. it, coincidentally, on ThisIsAnotherCastle.com. Yeah, uh, for an, on Another Castle. I reviewed yep, Serious Sam 3. Castle. And I actually did link it, saying... Uh, mentioned Crow Team, saying, uh, I reviewed Serious Sam 3, and I said yeah. it was a pun seriously good. And they said, thanks for the review. It was great. You know, and they followed me, and mm -hmm. it was fantastic. Exactly. All right. Hi, this is Arnie Kunkel from Electric Games. I got word that another castle is working on a new game. Do you want to share some information on the current project and do an interview about it? Yes. What is your expectation regarding the success of Serious Sand? Do you think that the game will be well received? Hype the game. Thank you for your time. Let's hype the crap out of this game. Because you never know. Whoops. All right. Uh, dialogue. Well, Serious Sam was known for its dialogue, though. Let's turn that up. Put, put, let's put um, Patrick Guzman in that. Don't have too much dialogue. Yeah, not a lot. Yeah. Like that. There we go. Boom. Hype you, is hype. You hype don't, don't want to go against the game because then you're going to end up screwing up. That's true. All right. And it seems that the market has normalized again with no particular strong trends at the moment. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. It happens. I mean, that market. All right, here we go. World design, lower that down. Graphics, I yes. Sound, yes. Whatever. 
Patrick Guzman can work in the graphic design area. Uh, and Brian Hardy can work in the sound design. Here we go, Spencer. You ready? We're almost near the end of the stages for Serious Sand. Can't wait to get this done. Alright, here we go. 86 hype. We're gonna try to end it with the biggest thing ever of Serious Sand. Oh, got a bug. Ah, yes. Alright. New record for tech, which is good. Alright, here we go. Release the game. Branching strain Dalek Tree. Okay. Here we go. The first view is for Serious Sand Kevin. Ready? Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, six. <laughs> uh, a six. Oh, man. Good game. This is, this is gonna work well. Oh, it will. Action games work well on PC. And... Enjoyable. Hell, well... And it ended on a fairly positive that's note. That's something. Uh, so we ended on a fairly positive note. Let's generate the game report real quick, and then um, we'll yes. be finished. We'll for... be finished for this stream of Twitch Tuesday of Another Castle. Yep. Alright. An exclusive interview a while ago, Jennifer uh, from Another Castle made very bold remarks about the upcoming then-in-development game series. I'm predicting to be uber successful. Now the game is out, you know, it should have been more careful as the final product didn't match. It doesn't match the hyped expectations. All this had a negative effect on sales. Yes. Crap. Let's go. Oh, okay. So. Wait, we're just going to see. Okay. Well. Yeah, well, we already know that. Okay, and I think on that note, as uh, Serious Sam gets mm -hmm. more money, I think that is the perfect time to end Twitch Tuesday for today. Mm -hmm. uh, I hope everyone who has um, uh, watched the stream uh, enjoyed Game Dev Tycoon. Um, it is available on Steam. Very cheap. Mm -hmm. It's practically inexpensive. Exactly. Um, but if you don't want that, you know, if you don't really have the budget or don't have Steam, then I was just getting uh, but it's equally. Game. I was just getting the equally just as good game dev story. Yeah, game on, dev the, story on the phone. on the phone, on the iPhone and Android. I mean. Yes. Uh, so I think right there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm gonna end it right there. Uh, hope you guys all enjoyed it. And hey, you know, if you liked our stream. Uh, of Twitch Tuesday, you can go on, uh, you know, check out another castle, uh, check out their site, no, check out our site, or oh, not my site, but check out the site I work for. Yes. Uh, another at castle. W at this is another castle dot com. This is another castle dot com. Yep. Uh, Follow we focus them on Facebook. On, yep. We focus on anime, video games, and reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, we do top 10 lists, which are the very popular at the moment, the top 10 martial arts, Korean, and Japanese films exactly. on Netflix. Uh, also, go like them on Facebook. Yeah, like them on Castle. Facebook. Follow them on Twitter. Subscribe to us. Uh, subscribe to them on YouTube. And, and yep. And uh, go check them out on, and follow us on Twitch. So you can never miss. Yeah, follow a us on Twitch Tuesday. Tuesday. Never miss a Twitch Tuesday stream. Yeah. Uh, no problem, Miles. Yeah, thank no problem, you Miles. For thank you for us. thank you for watching the stream. Yes, man. Thank that's you, it's fantastic. Everyone. Thank you, Miles. Thank you, everyone. Um, thank you, so, Furrow Eleven. Thank you, versus uh, Bob. So this has been. Us. This has been. Uh, uh, another castle, and um, this is this is Brandon. Yes, and this is Spencer. Yep. Sorry, and uh, I we'll got see you next so, week yeah. on Twitch Tuesday. Yes, see you later.